Okay, it's time. Oh, what did I just do? We got you. Whoops. I guess we're getting started with this. Andy seems very happy to be with you. You know what? I moved my controller too quickly. So the game thought I wanted to pet Pikachu. Sure. There we go. Okay, now we can get started. This way. Yeah, this is the way we were going. I think this is where we ran into that Snorlax that was blocking us. Enjoy a stroll along Pokemon Road. There's two different... Oh, what is that Pokemon? Like a two-headed ostrich? I've never even seen that thing before. Okay, let's get through this. <laughs> I don't think I've told her that yet, Phantasma. Make that our little secret. There we go. I could see Monkey. I would be too. It sounds like they're adding like everything to that game. Let's see if I've lost my skill in catching these things. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> Completely safe. No one will ever find out. Oh, that was a terrible throw. I guess um, for doing like an online game. Oh man, that was way off. It gets tricky, Sheely, because. Um, oh man. I'm getting really bad timing with this. I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time. There we go. Um, I, I don't necessarily want to have voice chat in stream. That gets very tricky because I can't control the stream at that point. So if it could be played without that, potentially. Potentially. I don't know. I have to research the game. There we go. Oh my gosh. I didn't think I was going to get that one. I actually have the first Spelunky game. I played it a little bit on my arcade. It was really cool. Yeah, we never actually caught this guy before. So we'll add that to the Pokedex. Do Do Duo? Is that what it's called? You. It says he's flying. He doesn't have any wings. How are you flying? Okay, so it looks like there's two different ways to go. Let's see what's in this way. You're getting close, Alex. You're getting close. You're already at 3,000. Good effort. It's not many people who make it up here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help him out, Phantasm. I'm going to train him to be big and strong. And when will be the next time we do those monthly games? Ellaby, are you talking about the, um, like the community stream stuff? We've had, I usually try to do it at the end of every month, but we kind of skipped last month because of my birthday week, I was gone for a bit and we're way behind on this. We'll probably do one at the end of this month, if that's what you mean. <laughs> what are you going to name the two heads? He already has a name. I don't want to change his name. Oh dear, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. Are you trying to bribe me? Because that's going to work. <laughs> Got a new ability. I usually wait until I've gathered a few of those and then I check them out. Oh, it looks like a gang over here. What is this? What do you want? I wonder how to take out all three of these gang members. Yeah, if I change the Pokemon names, I'm never going to know what they're actually called. Punk Guy Lao. I like that. Okay. Pikachu's not strong against this. I should switch. You're good with the names, Phantasma. Probably from so much Sims. Tom and Phil. I like that. So for this one, I'm going to take out our Marowak. I actually like his old name better before. Yeah, that might work out better. Although, how long is Deng and Rappa? Aren't those like really long games, Sheely? Whoa, what is this? I don't think I've ever seen that attack. Okay, let's use our bone bone meringue. It's my favorite. You got two attacks? What the heck? What level is this guy? Oh, he's a lot higher level than me. Okay, I might be in trouble here. Um, let's go ahead and use a heal, a super potion. 
There we go. Would Ivysaur be even better? Yeah, I'm still learning all the rock, paper, scissor mechanics of the different types. All he uses is Earthquake. Oh, and he got a critical hit. Jerk. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I could do this for, like, a special attack right now. What did that do? Oh, it increased my stats. That's not what I wanted to do. I actually wanted to attack. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, let's try this again. Tajay, what is going on? Oh, that makes sense. It just heals or buffs you if she's not in battle. Okay. Lesson learned. I think it's the first time I've ever done that. Yeah, Sheely, if you go to how long to beat, typically how I play games, especially streaming, which takes me longer, it's usually whatever the main, what are they, main plus extras is, plus about 30%. That's about how many hours it would take me. So I try to find ones that are usually about 20 hours or less. But what do we just get? Razor Leaf? 55 power, it's not that great. It's good accuracy. Critical hits land more easily, though. Hmm. That does more damage than this. Yeah, I think I'll swap it with this one. And it would have been a waste anyways, because Onyx is rock ground and immune to electricity. Yeah, I wasn't sure how that attack was going to work. But now I know. <laughs> how you doing, Taj? Hey, good to see you, dude. Oh, we're bringing out another one. Sure. I'll switch back out with Andy. It's the only Pokemon I have that's like a decent level. I almost feel like I have to play this game off stream just to grind a whole bunch to increase my Pokemon's level. Oh, I don't have all my skills up. That's not good. I didn't realize I needed to uh, go back to the Pokemon Center. Oh no, they can disable your attacks? That's not cool. Um, let's try the different ones. I don't know what it's going to be weak against. This one's poison type. I don't know what poison's weak against. That was not super effective. Ah, but we've made it flinch. That's always good. Let's try this. Oh, I totally understand, Elodie, with everything you have going on. Crap. Now we're probably weaker. I think this was our best bet. I tried to have them to be about like 20 hours or less in general, uh, Phantasma. I think the how long to beat for this game was just barely above that, so that's okay, but uh, that's about what I like. Yeah, yeah, the main plus extras, Phantasma, plus 30%, roughly. Okay, this should finish it off. Oh, I think I have a psychic character monkey, but it's not in my party right now. Yeah, 18 would be fine. Yeah, I think that'd be fine. Thank goodness, we need some levels. Okay, so was there any point in actually fighting these guys? I don't know. They're all just kind of chilling here. Oh yeah, that would be cool. That game looked really neat. You know, there's some websites I can go to to actually request... Um, what do you call it? Some of these games, like Steam codes for them. And I think that Sherlock game was one of them I could request. That's actually how I got that Monkey Ball um, game. I was excited when that came out. And I'm like, oh, that'd be a fun one to do for the uh, anniversary stream. Because I know it would kill me a hundred times and I have to drop a lot of tokens. Oh yeah, that doesn't sound too bad at all. Yeah, since we're so close to here, I'm just going to go back to that Poke Center and kind of recuperate our Pokemon. 
I had no idea we were all so weakened already. Where is the... Po oh, it's right there. And that's why I always say it's like the main plus extras plus 30%. Just because of... I take breaks and I'm streaming and chat with you guys and, you know, we have different events going on. Stuff like that. Oh, do it, Ellie. Does it give you a random one? It'd be nice if you could, like, choose which one you got. I wonder which one you're going to get. <laughs> okay, I don't think I need to go beat up the other three players in that game. Although, maybe you unlock something if you do. I'm not sure. But I also realize <laughs> this game's taking me longer than I expected. Oh, did they already release DLC for that game, Phantasma? Is that the Chapter 2, or is that going to be a different release? Kind of confusing. Like, if it's Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1, is the DLC Chapter 2, or is the DLC just more stuff tacked onto Chapter 1? Yeah, before this guy was going to stop me, wasn't he? Pokemon Road is a downhill path leading to the sea. You should try having a nice little hike along it with your favorite Pokemon. Oh, just extra cases for the first one. Okay, that makes sense. That makes it feel more like DLC. You know, they did another game called, uh, I think they did The Sinking City. That was another one I was kind of interested in checking out. I don't know if it's any good. I just like that Cthulhu horror stuff. Your Route 16. I think this is the way we're supposed to go. Did you hate it? Oh, no, <laughs> that's not good. Completionist 180 hours? Oh, that is madness, Sheely. I would say, well, what's the main story plus extra, Sheely? Because main story, that's for people that know what they're doing and they just kind of rush the game. Uh-oh, thought I could sneak by him. And two more wild shinies tonight, a Badoo and an Alpha Lick Lily. Wait, is that what you found today, uh, Tajay? 77 and a half, yeah. So, Sheely, in that case, because that's about how long it would take me, plus 30%, so probably about 100 hours on stream, what we would do is play about five streams of it and just call it there, because it's going to take me months to beat the whole game at the rate that I beat games. Okay, this guy is psychic, so I don't think he's weak to anything that I have. Well... Never mind. <laughs> he's weak against electricity. Oh, because he's a bird flying type, right? Nice. Extra level. Yeah, from what I've seen, the main story um, time and how long to beat is somebody that knows what they're doing and they're just kind of rushing through the game. Not a speed run, but they know what they're doing. Um, let's keep Pikachu in here because we just destroyed that side guy. I've heard about that Phantasma. The game, it's kind of like the old Elder, Elder Scrolls in a way, where it um, doesn't tell you exactly where to go. There's no map markers. You just have to kind of read the text, try to follow the story and figure it out on your own, which is cool, but that could also be very frustrating if it doesn't have good directions. That happened to me all the time playing Elder Scrolls Morrowind. They would say, oh yeah, follow this path, go south, look for a tree that looks like a cow, and then you're gonna find a cave. And I never found the tree. Like, what are you talking about? Oh, Psyduck is water type. Is that, that's why the electricity works good, okay. Not flying. Yeah, that would be pretty bad, Sheely. I mean, not that you shouldn't request that game. Just realize we'll do five streams and call it there. Because five streams is usually what would be about, um, I don't know, 15 to 20 hours or so of streams. Depending on uh, if you get a long stream Thursday in there, for sure. What is your rank? Oh, you're talking to Phantasma. Do you want to battle my Pokemon? What is that Pokemon? Looks like it has a cone, like it just went to the vet. Picnicker Dahlia. Vaporeon. Somebody mentioned this one earlier. I think it might have been you, Tasha. 
This one's probably also water, huh? So I bet we'll wreck this guy. Doesn't stand a chance. Oh, it was effective, but we didn't kill it. Or Vaporeon. What did I say? Vaporon? <laughs> This will take it out. Oh, got another attack off. Put it. <laughs> oh no, Phantasma. That's terrible. <laughs> Did you ever find it? Hopefully. I mean, there's worse things to do, Elevy. There's worse things to do for sure. And when you're in, you know, a crappy mood like that, it could definitely be good to be chatting with other people and hang out with others for sure. Something to get your mind off of things. That, that always helped me. Holy cow. Holy cow. <laughs> Let me give them all a second to get through the Twitch ads and whatnot. Okay, I see her. Anna Dabadu, welcome Raiders to John Cadia. How is it going, Anna? Holy cow, huge raid. Thank you so very much for that raid, Anna. How are you doing? What were you streaming? Let's see, Talenko, welcome to the stream. Uh, Indy, I'm going to destroy this. Indigenous Angel? Indigenous? Indigenous? Indigenous Angel. Okay, there we go. Takes me a second. Welcome to the stream. Um, STT Fangirl, welcome. How are you doing? Uh, what game were you guys working on? You were playing, wait, what? I love you, Colonel Sanders, a finger licking good dating simulator. I've heard of this game, Anna. I've heard of it. I've never played it. How did you like it? Was it good? Did you, did, did you get that uh, secret recipe that we have heard so much about? 53 herbs and spices or whatever it is. I've, um, have not played it, but I did play that. What was that dating simulator that we played? Um, Daddy, Dream Daddy, Dream Daddy. We, we played that one last year and that game was super fun. It was like the first dating simulator I ever actually played, but I got a big kick out of that game. Is it anything like that one? I don't know if you're familiar with it. And Bayful, how's it going? Welcome. And Brax Gameplay, hello, Divine Banana Man. I love that name. What is up, everybody? Glad you could drop by. This is my first stream back. I had to take a last stream off on Tuesday because I wrecked my lower back. I was doing some workouts. I had really bad form. I tried to lift too much. And then I was, you know, in bad shape for a couple days, but I'm doing much better now. <laughs> it was not fun. Brax Gameplay, Indigenous Angel. I'm going to destroy this one. Teen, teen Odon? Like, like, almost like Udon noodles. Odon? Teen Odon? Uh, Talenko, thank you guys all so much for the follows. We are currently playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And I have never played a Pokemon game before. This is my very first one. It was requested by the community, and it's cool to finally see what everybody's been talking about for so long. <laughs> teen, teen Odon. Tinodon. Tinodon. Thank you, Talenko. Thank you. I'm so bad at pronouncing names. Please correct me if I'm destroying it, because sometimes people correct me like a year later, and I'm like, oh my god, I've been saying your name wrong for that long. <laughs> Please fix it. Fix it. Oh, thank you, Anna. And it's uh, kind of the best game. You had a good time with it then, Anna. I might have to try it out. I might have to try it out. Keep my... Well, no, I guess I've played two dating games. I played Dream Daddy but before that, I also played that Doki Doki Literature Club. That's a hell of a dating simulator. That's my kind of dating simulator. <laughs> I dug that game very much. Actually, that's when I first met you, Anna. I was streaming that with my wife, and then you came in with that raid with Hitsuga, and that was so much fun. It was so cool to meet you, all of you then. You unfortunately fell in love with a fictional character. <laughs> well, then the dating simulator did its job, didn't it? It's very effective. John is an enigma like that. Whoa, my computer's still okay? My screen was flashing all weird. I was like, uh-oh, I hope the stream didn't go down. Thanks, Fantuzma. I'm going to remember that. I'm going to say that from now on. The T's are strong together. 
<laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club is a religious experience. It kind of is. And I'm curious how that works on the Switch and other consoles it's been released on because it felt like some of those mechanics only worked on PC because of the way PCs are. I'm sure they've tailored it so it works better with the Switch, but I'm very curious. Very curious. Did it lag for a second, Tlinko? Okay, that's what I thought. It's like my computer did something weird. Hopefully you guys can see me right now. The auto-tune was a knight's touch. Thank you, Indigenous. I'm not still auto-tuned, am I? Check, check. Okay, good. It's happened more than once where I use a sound effect and it stays on. And nobody tells me. <laughs> they want to see how long they can write it. Where I do some crazy sound effect and then I forget about it. And I'm like, hey guys, let's go do this. And let's check out here. And I have no idea how stupid I sound for hours. It's, it could be pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Katamari, yep. My kind of dating simulator. <laughs> and speaking of things working on Switch, is anybody excited to get Portal Portal 2 on the road? That is pretty exciting, but I'm probably going to do that on my Steam Deck if I ever get that. I'm hoping to get an email maybe next month. We'll see how quickly they actually roll those things out. But it is awesome it's coming out to Switch. And uh, Shili, they build the computer home screen into the game. So the game is a console with a computer in it. That makes sense. So you still get that control of, you know, the meta portion of the game. I like that. Nice. Sounds like normal chat shenanigans to me. Even better when you guys don't tell me it's happening, right, Talenko? Let's see. Just need them to ship me my Steam Deck. Are you trying to get one, Katamari? I got my pre-order in for a Steam Deck, but I wasn't there the second it went live i was like 10 minutes late or something so it says i'm second quarter of this year who knows what that means we'll see we'll see and why portal on switch though you didn't get why it's just a great game for people that don't have a pc that don't have a playstation nice for them to have the access to the game i guess i don't know it might be 60 bucks for both of them which is kind of crazy because if you were to get them full price on Steam, how much would the Portal games be? 20 bucks, maybe? I don't know. When they're on sale, probably be like five bucks for both of them. That's so cool. Such good stuff. And you do need to scoot, Anna, to get some food, but have a great rest of your stream. It was great to see you again. Great to see you too, Anna. Thank you again so much for the raid. Always wonderful to see you and your awesome community dropping in. Welcome again, everybody. Okay, it is time. Let's get back into this game and watch me fail at catching these Pokemon. There we go. <laughs> so I'm finding I'm I don't know if I'm low level, but pretty much every Pokemon I battle now is about the same level as my most powerful Pokemon. And I'm worried that very soon they're going to be more powerful than me and I'm going to get wrecked. There's a notice posted here. Be on the lookout for discarded items. So I think that means Oh, I see something in the grass right there. Is that what they're trying to tell me? Sometimes you have to watch Pikachu's tail, and when it starts shaking, there's some hidden item near you. I wonder if that's what it's telling me about. I don't see it moving. Boy, oh, is that an Eevee? I actually haven't caught an Eevee yet. I think that's Eevee. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, we haven't actually seen this yet. And yoink! Perfect. Doesn't get any better than that. Is it going to work? No. <laughs> Not that easy. Oh, right on the head. Come on, John. I'm really good at timing it when they, like, try to lunge at me. Now. There we go. A little bit better. Oh, not just for those hidden items, Tasha, but any items. Okay. Oh, come on. It feels like I need to go a second earlier than I want to, because there's a little bit of delay from when I do this, and it actually happens on screen. Oh, that was so off. <laughs> Got it. Thank goodness. So Eevees have a 7 out of 8 chance of being male, huh? I did not realize that. Now, what type is Eevee? Is it normal type? 
Was it be wor would it be worth it putting into our party? Her? <laughs> and it can evolve into a variety of forms. Eevee's genes are the key to solving the mysteries of Pokemon evolution. Seems important. <laughs> seems pretty important. Yeah, that seemed like a lot of money, Sheely. 60 bucks for the uh, old versions of those Mario games. Oh, there's another one right here. Like a sucker, I picked it up. I had a little bit of FOMO because they weren't going to keep it around. It was like a limited thing. If you didn't get it in those first few months, it was just gone. Did you find something? Marowak found something in the plants. What do we get? A Nanab berry. There we go. Yoink, I'll take that. Trainer tips. All Pokemon are unique. Even Pokemon of the same species and level grow at different rates, which adds up in time. Oh, crap. I'm trying to avoid some of these because, man, this could go on forever. But I am also trying to get unique ones, like this guy right here. This flaming pony Pokemon. Never seen it before. This one's brand new. Pontia. I like that. Or pony Ponita. There we go. We should... S oh, I'm not fighting it. I'm catching it. That's right. I have a hard time when they uh, are off to the side like that. Let me try my other hand. There we go. I'm using my left hand. This is very awkward. Maybe I'm just better with it. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Katamari. Oh, now this side. Oh, okay. Okay, now I'm switching back to this hand. Ooh, I can't believe that actually connected. So out of those three Mario games that were in that collection, Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Mario Galaxy, which is your guys' favorite? My guess is it might be the first one of those you played. That's probably what you have the most nostalgia for. At least for me it is. I, I liked um, Mario Galaxy out of those the best. Like, I'd say Mario Galaxy's the best game, but Mario 64 I have the most nostalgia for. Oh, gotta fight this guy. And you're a Sunshine fan, but Galaxy was the first one you played. That's pretty cool, Sheila. You actually went back in time and enjoyed that one even more. And Galaxy for you too, Angel? I can see that for sure. Mario Cat Boys versus Realistic Bowser. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that one of the newer ones? I was going to say, I think Super Mario 3D World, you could become like a cat Mario. Like all the characters can kind of become cat versions. Okay. Um, I think he's fighting type. I bet we could just wreck him with this. Wasn't super effective, but it did a lot of damage. Holy cow, he did a lot of damage too. Wait, what just happened? Did he just switch Pokemon in the middle of the battle? That's not cool. Okay, we gotta switch too. Um, switch over here. Because that rock thing is gonna destroy Pikachu. And you played Sunshine first, but you like Galaxy more. I always feel like Sunshine is kind of the um, misunderstood sibling in that family of 3D games. These guys, they're all so under-leveled. I'm just going to do as much damage as I can. Actually, even Pikachu's under-leveled. This guy's 38. Oh, good night, STT. You have a good one. Thank you for joining us. Dang. Okay, so I think the next best one to do is bring out our water. I think water is also strong against rock, right? It makes sense. Water erodes rock. Oh, see, that's fun, Sheila. You have a different appreciation for it through speedrunning. I've never really tried a speedrun a game. This might take it out. Yes! Okay, thank goodness. 
That's kind of cool that he switched out Pokemon in the middle of the battle. I've never seen that before. Yeah, let's, um... Actually, I'll keep this one out for now. Because I still have full life here. I remember, Sheely, really liking those platforming levels in Super Mario Sunshine. That you didn't have the jetpack. It was just like the separate bonus world with like really tricky 3D platforming. It was fun. Oof. Oh, that wasn't too bad. You got a sub hour in Tetris Effect? What is the, um, uh, the, the quickest time in that game ever, I guess? Like, what's the world record? Oh, it, 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 no problem at all. So we go live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific time, and then again on Saturdays at noon. So I try to change it up depending on your um, schedule and time zone. Some times might work out better than others. But that would be great to see you again in the future. Thank you again so much for dropping by. And for the awesome Anna for that raid. That was so cool. Okay, I should probably heal up in between battles versus waiting until we start another battle and then I'm in trouble. Oops. I always do that. <laughs> I use, like, the trigger to kind of do everything, except you can't do that in these menus. You have to press A. Oh, even one of them's fainted. That's right. Okay, let's heal up Andy. And then I'll use a revive. Actually, I don't have very many of these. And heal them up. 23 minutes. Aw, oh, see us later, Angel. Take care. Um, that's incredible. Well, I bet you can get under 30 minutes, Monkey. I bet you could do that. I mean, it's just based on however many lines you complete, right? That's what gets you onto the next section, I suppose. Let's also heal up War Turtle. I'll leave Ivysaur there. That's most everybody. Okay, I think we're good. So, what does this thing mean right here? It looks like, is that means you can play the game in co-op? Is that kind of like an advertisement? A wild Andy has appeared. One sec. What's up? Oh, she's just saying hi. Hi, Andy. She, she was in the neighborhood. She probably had to go get some uh, yarn from her office. And you have to double your PPs before you have a chance for that. What is, I haven't played in enough Tetris Effect. What does that even mean? And zero. So John's switch moves let you uh, attack and swap out. It's nice if you move first because you can try and predict the swap of a stronger Pokemon to take their attack. Clever zero. See, these are like, you know, galaxy brain moves I never even think about because I'm not that familiar with it. Oh, Tajay says, Andy, we miss you. I think she's back in the TV room. And you speed ran Minecraft. Your personal best was 22 minutes. Now, when you speed run Minecraft, that means you are building the gate, right? Going to that other world, finding the dragon and killing it, right? I've never actually done that in that game. Who's this person? Pokemon Road is soothing, isn't it? Huh? Oh, sorry. I spaced out. I'm a coach trainer. Did you want to have a battle? Sure. I think you get some good stuff. Oh, good news, Ellaby. What happened? Your brother had a surgery and it was super duper successful, I'm guessing. Oh, they changed the rules to force you to stream it. I wonder if that's to help keep people, keep people um, from cheating or editing the footage, Sheely, I guess. I don't know. Although some people stream a game, but they actually just play a video of the game I've seen. Like some people were cheating with like Guitar Hero world records and stuff, and they weren't actually playing the game. They were just playing a video of them playing the game before and sped up so it looks like they're playing the hard difficulty. It's so bad. Yeah, I could see that, Zero. I could see that. It's so sad. Why do people gotta cheat? And PPs means pieces per second. Oh, like how, how quickly you drop them, I'm guessing? Ooh, almost one hit. This one's level 40. 
This is bad. This guy's level higher level than we are. And they have two more Pokemon. This might not turn out good to us. Okay, I can at least take this one out. That's good news, though, Elevy. That is very good news. Still broken, of course, but it sounds like they're going to be able to give him some good help. And over time, I think he'll probably get a good recovery. I think I know which one you're talking about, Zero. Um, it's like Jobst or Carl Jobst or something like that. It's like most of his videos are based on like speedrunning cheats or, or really famous speedruns. Um, I'm going to keep battling with this one for now. I'm not sure what's coming out. An insect. I have no idea. I can look at what type this is, can't I? Forget how I do that. Here we go. It is bug and poison type. What is good against bug and poison? That was correct. Okay, I knew I'd see that guy. Which is Thunderbolt? That one's 75. This one's nice. I'm still going to try this one, I think. Come on. Uh, not that great. <laughs> Bye, Andy. <laughs> so fire would be good against this one. Okay, let's try bringing out a fire guy. Our Char... It looks like Charmelon. Charmelion. Can a Pokemon only be two types, or could we have one that's three types? Oh no, it got an attack off first? Crap. I don't know if I'm high enough level to even handle this. Especially if they get the first hit. This could be a problem. Hey, we avoided the attack. Nice. And they avoided us. Nothing happened. Try one more time. Oh, we didn't avoid it that time. Uh, yeah, they must have really good speed. Okay. I think I'm just going to try to take this one out. Then we only have one more to go. You can have a typeless option. What would the point of that be? They usually have a really good fast or speed rating. That makes sense. Andy hates bees. I don't mind them, but they really freak her out. Um, I'm going to keep battling, and I'm going to quickly resurrect Pikachu if I can. Sand Slash. I don't know if Pikachu would be good against this one, but it's my highest level Pokemon. Bring her back. They're all using the same move. Hmm. You know what? I think... Flying might be good against this, right? If they're like ground attacks. <laughs> that mouth is so funny. Flying is also good. Okay, good. Let's try... Is this a flying attack? Bite? We don't have any kind of great attacks with this one, honestly. 60. They're both 60. But this can make them flinch, which is good. Yeah, we got a shiny gold bat and also that the little guy with the skull helmet. Oh, this is bad. Um... I think I'm going to use a potion. 
on Pikachu. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to bring her out pretty soon here. Okay, Bite did like no damage. Let's try this. <laughs> we're so weak. This thing has like 10 levels on us. I think we'd be better off just like healing another Pokemon. Um, let's use another potion on this one. Oh, is Confuse Ray a really good one? Yeah, I, I definitely think I need to do some grinding. So what's the most effective way to kind of level up your Pokemon? Is it battles or is it catching Pokemon raises levels quicker? I, I seem to go back and forth on that. Okay, um... Well, this should be good. This is a flying attack. Just catch everything? Okay. Maybe we'll do that. We'll grind away and catch some stuff today. Because we need some levels badly. Oh my gosh. I'm still not doing any damage. But we can make him flinch. He avoided it. <laughs> oh man. I think I might want to run away. Can, can you run away on these? I'm not sure. I think War Turtle is probably our best bet. Oh yeah, because water, grass, and flying is good against this. Okay, let's try this Scald. Come on. Ah, too late. They're too quick, Bernie. Thank goodness we didn't die. Hey! Okay, let's um let's go ahead and use a super potion. Just so we can survive an attack. And then see if we can't get another one of those off. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be close. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, man. They just do so much damage. Okay. I think I'm just going to resurrect War Turtle and hope for a better shot. Or do I just try to take out this last one? Is, is Grass type good against this, too? I think it was. Razor Leaf is how much damage? 55. That's <laughs> so weak. Oh, we might be able to do this. We avoided the attack. Thank goodness. That might have just saved me right Are you kidding me? Hmm. All right. I'm just going to hope for the best. Please don't die in one hit. Please don't die in one hit. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. We need to go to the Poka Center immediately. <laughs> Arbo TV, how's it going? Just drop by to show some love. You have a terrible headache. Is that an Arb Skywalker? I'm guessing. <laughs> I am feeling much better. My back isn't 100%, but I'm probably at about 80% right now. I can move around for the most part. If I'm sitting down or laying down, getting up is kind of difficult, but otherwise doing much better. That drill run was a pretty dang good one. Nice. Okay, now I gotta forget Skywalker. Go back to Arbo. All right, right on, Arbo. I like it. Thank you for uh, dropping in and saying hello. Hope you're doing well, too. Now, that was a tough battle. So I think what I'm going to do is um, rest up my characters and then come back here and do a bunch of grinding for catching Pokemon. Do we have enough... Pokeballs? I think it's been a while since we went shopping. Where are those? Catching pocket? We got 80 Pokeballs. 40 Great Ball. Yeah, I think we're okay. No, no, that's okay, Monkey. It's got to be my playthrough. I like it to be kind of au naturel. Oh, crap. No, I would not have a battle with your babies. 
I can't handle any more battles. Is there an escape? He's got three of them. I'm gonna go watch some videos and go to sleep. Uh, might be back on Saturday. Oh, that'd be really cool, LB. Always good to see you again. But I hope that um, you can get some good rest and that your brother uh, heals up and does really good. Hopefully that works out. You take care, dude. I don't think I can run away, can you? Wait, unless there is a item in the bag we can use. Let's see here. No, it doesn't look like there's anything for running away. <laughs> I think we're just dead. What else can I do? I'd have to use so many items to try to fight this. Um, like we could revive Andy. Ivysaur is about to get murdered. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're still alive. Oh, thank you, Ivysaur. With that, I can also heal Pikachu now. And now you're dead. That's true, that, may, that does make sense, Monkey. But like getting like a high level character feels kind of cheap. So I didn't put any of the work, I suppose. And Brax, you're gonna go now? It was great meeting you and watching the stream. Very nice to meet you too, dude. You have a fantastic rest of your night and I hope to see you again sometime soon. Okay, oof, this is gonna be tough. Luckily it's water, so we can do some good damage against it. Even though it's higher level than us, we might still take it out. Ooh, that was close. I just have no idea what the other two are. Whoa, look at this attack. Oh my gosh. I hope the other two Pokemon are also water-based, because then I think we have a chance. Just a lot of healing and hoping for some good currents. Crap. <laughs> We're not good against this one. Um, okay, now we need to revive. What, who's my best against this? Ivysaur, maybe? I think War Tortle has a better attack. Nah, I'd still prefer not to, Monkey. Oh, I think we're probably dead right here. Oh yeah, we're gone. Oh, thank you. So, Andy stayed alive just so I can get another heal out. This is ridiculous. Um, let's try to quickly heal up War Turtle for this battle, but we're so low level, there's no way we're gonna take this thing out. And dead. <laughs> Good night, Andy. I wasn't even sure where I was going. I think I started to get to some new place, but it just got to be too hard because we're so low level. And I think this is my best attack for these. I could take it out in two hits if we survive. Nice, and we avoided the attack. Why is it burned from a water attack? I'm confused. Oh, Scald, it's hot, okay. It's not on fire. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-oh, Tajay. I hope it's working. Actually, I just noticed on my tablet the stream stopped working, but my tablet kind of sucks like that. Okay, it seemed to refresh okay. Let me know if it's working for the rest of you guys. Magneton. I have no idea what this is weak against. I would just assume bring back my most powerful Pokemon. 
81. Holy cow, monkey. That's awesome. Honestly, Zero, I can't believe... Um... Oh no, that's Thunderbolt. Oof. Oh, I should have brought back... Um... Marowak, huh? Yeah, I think that would have been better. <laughs> it's working, but it dropped from 1080 down to 360. It does not let you go back to 1080. It looks like on my side, the upload stream is still good. But that doesn't always tell the whole story. Huh. So I don't think lightning would be effective against this thing. Maybe flying? Maybe this? I think I'm going to heal up first. Hope for the best. Yeah, maybe you had like a hiccup in your Wi-Fi. I don't know if you're on wireless, Tajay. Try attack. What is this? That was decent damage. I'm not like almost dead or anything. Okay, let's try this out. It's probably not effective. No, oh, it's like worthless. Oh no. Okay. Well, we'll survive this. We'll heal up again. And we'll try something else. And we're not quite full health, but we're close. Ooh, I could take one more of those. Let's try this one. Oh, that was pretty good. Okay, that was a good attack. Now we need to just survive this and heal. Ooh, we're in pain. We're in pain. Do I have a better heal than a super one? Um, what does an elixir do again? Oops, wrong button. Ten PP. Okay, that's not what I want. And a hyper potion. One hundred and twenty. Okay, let's use this one. We're getting to the point where we need more than sixty HP in a potion. That's so bizarre, Taji. I don't know. Although wireless is kind of. Which is Arch Nemesis. Because there's no buffering with a stream, really. You're getting it live feed just a few seconds behind. Whereas, like, if you're streaming Netflix or YouTube, it can get a burst of information and buffer it. And it'll work for a minute or two, even if your wireless, you know, cuts out or has issues. Okay, we, I think we can actually take this guy. Just need one more of those. I can't believe we're going to survive this. Although, I gotta be careful because if I miss, I'm gonna get killed right now. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Back in my day, hyper potions were 200 hit points. <laughs> Those old memes, it's me with my back getting thrown out. Okay, I, I feel like I need to heal up my Pokemon a bit just in case I get in another battle right now on accident. Even though I am trying to avoid stuff, it could happen. So let's do a few revives. And a few super potions. I'm not gonna fully heal the whole party, but just a few. <laughs> what do they say about hitting 40 Katamari. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so if we get in another fight, I'm not as hosed as that one. I only had one character with like 30 hit points. I can't believe we survived that. Ooh, there's a Pokeball here I missed. Yeah, 
Yeah, really, I just got to get to that Poke Center, and then we'll catch some more. Now I really get their uh, phrasing about got to catch them all in Pokemon. That's how you level up. You need to do that. <laughs> Zero. I should have died. I really should have. I just, I got lucky, honestly. One miss or one critical hit on their end, and I would have been dead. Keeps it interesting, though, doesn't it? There we go. <laughs> this lady's probably like, what are you doing to your poor Pokemon? You keep bringing them in here and they're all half dead. I should also buy some more potions and stuff while I'm here. <laughs> For the love of Tajay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's go to the shop and... Get a few more revives, a few more potions. Thank goodness that's free to do that. Is this the shop? No, that's like a gaming place, isn't it? Where's the shop in this town? This one? This might be it. Oh, that's right. This place has multiple stories. And the shop is on one of these floors, right? Gotta look at this legend. Two. We want the second floor. Oh, I, I didn't even have to read that. It's right there. <laughs> Whoops. There we are. I am definitely here to buy. We got some money. Oh, wait, now they sell other stuff. I want to go to the other person. Here we go. You got the consumables. So let's get a bunch of super potions. Or should I just get hyper potions? I think these are still useful for some of my Pokemon. Now we'll get a few of these. And I definitely... Oh, that's right. Oh, we revive. For some reason, I thought I couldn't get revives. Revives are expensive. It's much better to uh, heal your Pokemon and let them pass out. Oh, Alex, thank you so much for the little lurk, dude. I appreciate that, man. Uh, anything else really useful here? I don't think so. This bugs me so much. That full heal is not a heal. It makes sense because this one's called Paralyze Heal, but man, that I totally screwed up by doing that when I didn't need to. I'll probably buy some more balls. Just get a bunch of great balls. I get 20 grand worth, roughly. There we go. Okay, we have spent plenty of money. I think we're ready to get out of here. So Tajay, have you actually beaten that new Legends, uh, the new Pokemon game yet? Or are you still taking your time and soaking it all in? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Therapy Android, 36 months. That is three years therapy. Holy cow. Let me drop some tokens in there for you guys. How are you doing, Therapy? Thank you so much for the sub. Can't believe it's been three years already. I don't think you've already done it. Maybe. I don't know. Time flies, Therapy. Time flies. It's so hard to keep track. How are you doing? It's good to see you again. And Taja, you finished the main story and you're about halfway through the second arc. Wait, so like, is this bonus stuff after beating the game? Or is this just uh, like still part of the main game beyond, I guess, the primary story? Like an arc. It sounds like a like in Castlevania Symphony of the Night when you beat the game and then the castle flips upside down and you play that. Nice blind cat. Oh gosh, I forgot to turn these on. There we go. Who got them? Alex? Alex? And Electro, good catches, <laughs> without even seeing them. 
and you did 35, three years now. That is insane, therapy. Where does the time go? Holy crap. What you been up to, therapy? What's new? Oh, found something. What'd you find? What did you find? A silver pine nut berry. I'll take it. Probably for those hard to catch Pokemon. Okay, so there's a big thing of grass down here. I think we're going to grind and catch a whole bunch of these guys. Where are they? <laughs> there's one. I was going to say there's like not a single Pokemon here. So there's main story credits and then a second story. Oh, that's cool, Tasha. So it is kind of like a bonus game after that. Therapy. I'm doing good. I'm doing better. I had to cancel Tuesday stream because I pulled my lower back uh, working out on Monday night, actually. And it was bad. Like, I've, I've pulled my back doing my little things and it was like, you know, uncomfortable. Like, I might reach over something and try to lift something with my back and hurt myself. And it's like, it sucks, but it's not a big deal. But this was like debilitating. I was miserable. And uh, I'd say just yesterday, it started to get a little bit better, which is good. And then today's even better than that. So I'm like 80%. I'm doing okay. Got it. Nice. Oh yeah, look at that. We're already getting levels. We're already getting levels. <laughs> they were very close to a level, though. Yeah, so what's the deal with lures in this game? Is that for trying to catch a certain one, or does that help you catch the uh, rare ones? Oh, Ivysaur is uh, evolving. What do we got here? It just looks like a bigger version of it. <laughs> Although the plant on the top is a little bit... Uh, like, more of a tree now, it looks like. Well, nice. We got Venusaur. So, lures make Pokemon spawns, and the rarer one spawn. So, is there one I should be luring right here, where we're at? Actually, therapy, I could probably do push-ups. Um, at my 80% back stuff, the only things that really hurt is if I'm laying down, like, totally flat on a bed, and I try to sit straight up, that's bad. Or um, certain times when I bend down, it still kind of sucks, certain angles. But in general, I'm doing okay. I was able to work out today. I didn't do push-ups, but I did some other weightlifting. Just know I didn't do the workout that hurt me. I won't be doing that one for a while. <laughs> Usually I do that on Thursdays, but I'll skip it. Well, let's see what new move that we got. Mr. Sky, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream, dude. A pedal dance. Did someone say hype? Nobody said hype, Tajay. Nobody. <laughs> oh, so John can do push-ups, huh? I see how it is. No, no, let's not do it. Gumbers, how are you doing? Are you still going to do push-ups? Get... Yes, I will. I will do my best. That's the thing, though, is I might not be able to do as many, in which case, if I can't do as many, I just have to drop more tokens for you guys. But I would, of course, do my best. This is a darn powerful attack. 120 with 100 accuracy? Yeah, let's definitely learn that. <laughs> yeah, just got me here. Perfect timing, Gumbers. Oh, I know, Therapy. The first day, I felt like I was worthless on Tuesday. I actually usually would go into work on Tuesday. I just called up my boss and said, hey, I'm going to work from home. This is miserable. I do not want to try to do this at work. Wait, it didn't ask me to switch out any move. Did I just get like a freebie? That's pretty cool. Take it, I'll take it. So Chansey is a rare spawn everywhere except the Curlian Cave and it'd take hours to get them anywhere else. So maybe not worth trying to do a lore here, Tajay, do you think? And what have you been playing? Um, therapy, anything new? Have you had a chance to play anything? <laughs> Free time's a different problem. Oh, this one's red. This one's tricky to get. I might have to feed this one. Yeah, I think if it's red, I should probably go to the bag and give it a treat. And now at least it's orange. Better than nothing. Oh, darn it. Back to red. Okay, let's try this one more time. 
What do these do again? That gives you an item. I'm not trying to do that. Strike two. Oh, but you have to get a combo to get those rare ones. That makes sense. Time that way off. Well, whatever kind of Pokemon I try to get a chain combo of, it's not going to be this one. This one's really hard to catch. Excellent. If this doesn't work, nothing's going to work. I did not almost get him. <laughs> not even close. You went to Egypt last week. It was a five-hour flight, and you played Breath of the Wild on your Switch. Such a good game therapy. Nice. How was Egypt, by the way? Holy crap, that's so cool. Love to check that place out. Never have. So you uh, did a chain combo Charizard. I could probably do these Ponitas. I've seen a few of these. And they're not nearly as difficult to catch as that bird. There we go. Oh, bad timing. Bad timing. Yeah, that's the tricky part about these kind of games is like, this is definitely something that I would probably see myself grinding outside of stream versus doing it live, you know? Oops. I kind of want to more like, let's get through the story stuff, see the important like moments in the game. But it's kind of hard because we kind of hit a wall with difficulty. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> Jumped just at the right time. I'm glad I stocked up on Pokeballs. And you love Egypt for the sea? Um, there's so many corals and fish. It's like you're swimming in an aquarium. That's so cool. I, I wouldn't have thought that. I always think of Egypt as, uh, you know, pyramids and desert and stuff. You never really hear about, like, the ocean, the beaches, that kind of thing. No, still? How dare you? <laughs> oh my goodness. I think this is the right voice. Samuel Gordon, our resident serial killer. Thank you so very much for that sub. 15 months, Samuel Gordon. When you're not murdering folks in jolly old England. Now, was it England that game took place? It was somewhere in Europe. I forget where, but... You're very generous when you're not murdering folks. Sweet. All right, Marowak got a level. There's one. So I think that's a combo, isn't it? I thought I had gotten two of those. And a gift sub. Are you kidding me? Daniel Gordon, 115 gift subs in this channel. That is ridiculous. Bam, bam, and bam. Speaking of which, Electro... Alex, nice catches, dude. Oh, Alex, you got two of them. Nice. But thank you again, Daniel Gordon. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I just missed that one. It's good to try to catch these ones that have things floating around them because they're kind of special. I've never tr found this one. This one's got three heads. Um, We should probably feed him something. Try to make it a little bit easier. I cannot do it with that hand. I have to switch hands to go this way. I don't know why that is. Oh, that wasn't even close. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I think we missed one. Let me drop one more in there for you guys. Ah, oh, he got away. Darn it. Oh yeah, what works for you when they're moving? I think there's like another type of fruit you want to give them to stop them from moving, right? 
but after you um, hit a pull all the way back, instead of just moving forward and just moving left and right, instead of just moving forward, just move left and right. I think I need more explanation. I'm not exactly sure what that means, Tasha. Unfortunately, there's no more of those special ones. Let's see if we can get a combo with these. So we just keep it up. Instead, moving it forward like a throw. Oh, move it left and right. So it goes up and then left. I see. Oh, that time I moved it right. <laughs> Both directions went that way. If I go right, it goes left. If I go left, it goes left. Everything is left, unless I switch hands. If I switch hands, I can actually kind of get it to go that direction. At least, I mean, it could be a million different things. It could be how I'm holding it. It could be the lighting in this room. Oh, jerk. Quit moving. Stay in one place. I'm not getting any experience from catching these things. I'm just wasting balls. Thank goodness. Let's see. And you caught a shiny Weedle on your first day? Nice job, Mr. Sky. I've gotten two shinies so far. Um, I got a Marowak and a Golbat. Well, they're initial forms. Then they've evolved. But they were both shinies. And I actually got them within like 30 minutes. Maybe I need to be just very gentle when I do it, Taja. Which balls am I using? Like, if I go to my catching pocket. Like, I still have regular Pokeballs. Is there a way to, like, equip Great Balls? So it always uses them by default? Or do I have to pick it in the middle of the battle and do it that way? I'm not sure. Noob! How's it going, noob? Welcome back. I think I have to go into the bag. So in the capture screen, you can change it. Like, change the default. Okay, use this item. There we go. That might have been my problem, too, is I wasn't going to the upgraded balls. Move just at the right second. But I have a ton of these now. So we should be able to get it now. Honestly, right now, Noob, we're trying to grind some levels because I'm a little bit underleveled for the things that we're going up against. They are destroying me. I've survived the battles, but like, just barely. It defaults to the last ball you used. Oh, cool. So now the next one I use will be the great ball, right? That's good. Oh. Even though he's not a combo, he's a special one. So I think this is worth more. think. <laughs> oh, that's what's happened in the past. I must have ran out of those balls and then took off. He sure doesn't look very tiny, does he? Still a chonker. Oh my god. Go straight. Of course he goes straight when he's moving. Come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. I'm more about efficiency and speed right now. Oh, that was a good experience. There we go. We need more of those. Anytime I see something with little swirlies around them, grab them immediately. They seem to be worth a lot more. I think right now, so I'll take this one. Is that your favorite Pokemon, Zero? Don't go to that side. I have to switch hands. I mean, bad, bad timing. Oh, ooh, what kind of big news therapy? Again, I love your big news, especially when it's happy news, good news. Are you moving to Egypt? <laughs> nice. See, that was pretty quick. That was good. That's one of your favorites. What are your other favorites, Zero? You might have a bunch.
Whoa. This one looks giant. <laughs> Look at the size of that guy. Is this just like a... Oops. I'm guessing like a higher... What he devolves into? Holy cow, Therapy! That is so exciting! Right on! So who's going where? Um, is she moving in with you? Or are you moving in with her? Or are you getting a whole new place? That is rad, though. Congratulations. It is the evolved version. Okay, I was thinking so. It is massive. Okay, I'm going to try to slow this one down a little bit. I would love it if it came over here into the center, because I have a hard time going that direction like this. Dang it. Oh, I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> Fingers crossed. See, that's awesome, though, Therapy. It's um, something actually great came out of this whole quarantine business, you know? <laughs> and she's moving into your apartment for now. That is amazing. Congratulations, Therapy. That's a big step. That is a very big step. That's going to be so much fun. Honestly, that's when you really get to know somebody. You know, it's a really good first step and test of, like, everything because everybody can be on good behavior when you just visit somebody, but when you are together all the time, then you really learn what somebody's like. That's so cool. Right, what's going on? I think I hit the wrong button. Get in the bag. Get in the bag. Okay. I want to find another one that's like tiny or large because there was so many more points. I'm not seeing anything. There's like no Pokemon here. Oh, is that one of the ones that you can ride? That's pretty cool. There's an Eevee. Oh, do you have to go, Mr. Sky? Thank you for hanging out, dude. Have a good night. Thank you for joining us. Okay, I need to, like, master my technique. I'm going to try it with my fingers completely straight. Because sometimes I'm trying to, like, aim over my microphone arm, and it's a little bit awkward. I think I might do better if I do it like this. I feel like it's going a little bit straighter now. Oh, come on. Almost got it. Let's uh, go to our bag. Feed this Eevee. It actually didn't really help. Oh, that might be it too, Tajay. Yeah. It remembers where what direction is facing when you press the button. Slowly getting some levels. Do you think it would be worthwhile to um toss a EV into the group? Okay, what do we get? Bubble beam? 65 power? It's okay. But can lower its speed stat. Whoops. Let's see if that's better than anything else we have. Scald does 80. I like that one better. Withdraw. Raises defense. I think I'm going to keep what we got, actually. All these other moves actually do more damage. Eh, we'll keep the old one. I think you can, Tasha. You, uh, you don't like play through the story multiplayer, but you can battle other people and you can um, trade Pokemon with them. Do you think that was better than Withdraw Noob? I don't know if I would ever use it because it's less damage than Scald. I didn't even mean to catch this one. <laughs> Oops. So it's not motion control in the way that you're used to from the Wii. It's based on a gyroscope. That makes more sense, yeah. And that's why you want to be very steady once you press that button. There we go, now we got some levels. And Monkey, you think Eevee would replace Carmelian, Venusaur, or Pikachu? You wouldn't do that? What do you guys think of my party? Like, what's, what 
positions might you swap? I feel like I have an okay spread of um, different attacks, but something might be missing. Leech life. This is pretty good. 80 power, 100% accurate, or 100 accuracy. And it restores ours. We should definitely swap this with something. Confuse Ray, maybe? Because we have an ice attack. Doesn't actually do damage. Actually, maybe that's what I want to swap out. It eliminates every stat change among all Pokemon engaged in battle. That helps, I guess, if they buff themselves up, you can remove that. But I don't know how much I'm really going to use that. I kind of think I'm going to swap that out. Yeah. This new one's pretty powerful. Oh, Mario Party. Super Mario Party. That's, um... Not the most recent one. I think it's the one before that, huh, Therapy? Those are so much fun. <laughs> I know that movie, Christian. You're talking about Titanic, right? No, Taken. That's a good one. <laughs> of course, noob. Actually, in our uh, Discord channel, we actually have a section just for memes. But... You really can't post links to them in here, because it'll get blocked. Okay, let's see how this works. Oh, not quite. Eh, that's close enough. That's close enough. <laughs> yeah, flaming pony! Ooh. Okay, so... That was weird. Okay, I think it... Okay, I keep going straight, and then... This way? Nope. Keep it straight, go up. There we go. If I'm very careful, I might master this. Ah. Oh. Okay. So you're supposed to keep it like this. Press A. Go up. That worked pretty well. So just back inside. Okay. Well, you want to go forward if it's right in front of you, right? Up, side. See how that time I went this way and the ball went that way. Maybe I have, I have to do the other side. Up, right. It only wants to go one direction. I just have to pray the pony gets back in front of me. <laughs> there we go. No, this one actually came with my Switch therapy. I had two options. I could get the blue and red one, or the one that's just all black. Um, Andy has the blue and red one, and I just went with the all blacked out version. Or kind of more gray, I suppose. But what's kind of nice is these things are expensive. If you want a different color, um, you can buy tons of different skins out there. Go whatever color you like. Or even much more black than what this is. <laughs> I think it might be more so Taji if I just went with all white. <laughs> that might sound worse, right? Which I do like white electronics too, but I actually prefer black with most of my electronics. I'm trying to get over here, because this one is part of a combo. Couch Potato Kate! Holy cow! You can't uh, stay, but you saw you were live, you wanted to say hi. It's so good to see you, Kate. I hope you were doing well. Thank you so much for the cheer. That was very kind of you. And hope, yeah, things are going good on your end. I'm just recovering from a back injury. So, you know, I've been better, but it could be worse. It could be worse. I'm actually doing a lot better than I was on Tuesday, for sure. But glad to hear you're doing good, too. Thank you so much for dropping in. And catch the horse. There we go. We got it this time. We totally got it. There we go. Yeah, this is one of those games that normally I don't ever do it. But I might want to, like, just spend time grinding outside of stream. Just so during stream, I can actually make more progress in the story and whatnot. I don't know if this is a good place to grind for these things. It seemed like a good spot. Because there's like a ton of grass here, but I don't know if I'm catching a whole bunch. 
sorry, Pony. You're right, Christian, Pony. See, that time the, the angle did work. It seems to work pretty well going this direction. Not so much going that direction. First hit. If only I could do that every time. So what kind of combo do we have going right now? Andy leveled up. What is the difference between a horse and a pony? Are they actually different animals, like species, or is it more of a size, age kind of thing? I assume they're actually, like, physically different, like, like a donkey, mule kind of thing. I don't see too much else going on there. Oh my lord! <laughs> Let him get to the advertisements. Always got to give him that advertising. What do you think they're watching? Commercial for a movie? Maybe some Axe body spray? <laughs> you never know. You never know. I'm trying to wait for the first person to say raid. There we go, before I do anything. Jetpack Watchdog, welcome raiders to Junkadia. How are you doing, Jetpack? It is good to see you. You were playing Earthbound. Speaking of Earthbound, didn't they just have a bunch of announcements in the uh, latest Nintendo Direct? That's super exciting. But how are you doing, dude? It's great to see you. And Max, welcome along. And Masked Trash. I love that name. Thank you for the follow. Good to see you here. Are they watching a commercial about John K? If only, Zero. If only I had commercials on Twitch. <laughs> That'd be big time. That'd be big time. Yes, uh, mass trash. We got a shiny Marowak and a shiny... What is that bat with a huge mouth? I forget his name. We got him too. I got them both within like 30 minutes of each other. It was pretty wild. And Rainbow Scape. You thought it was all height? The difference between horses and ponies. That might be it. Oh, it's not a shiny, but it is a uh, special one to get some more um, experience from. It's huge! To catch up on chat real quick here. So you're very happy to see you guys again. Been wanting to come by for so long. Jetpack, I totally understand. I actually had to skip a stream earlier this week because I hurt my back. I'm getting old. But uh, it's great to see you, dude. Good timing. Excellent. Perfect. <laughs> I, yeah, see, I'm not exactly sure about the pony horse difference, Christian. I'm definitely not a big horse person. I've ridden a horse before when I was like a little kid. Oh, that was terrible. But beyond that, I have like no experience with them. There we go. I'm doing much better, Rainbow. Um, Monday night, Tuesday, I was like seriously old man John. Look how much experience that was. 1855? Why can't I get more of those? That's awesome. And we learned a new move, too. <laughs> I have the old disease. <laughs> and it wasn't... Like, luckily, it was something cool. Some people injure themselves doing something stupid. Like, I was getting off the toilet. Or I was reaching down to pet my dog. I was working out. I was doing, like, heavy lifting. I was actually doing um, deadlifts with my barbells maxed out. And I think I was just leaned too far forward versus having them on my side. So when I tried to lift it all up, I just put too much strain on the lower back and it was gone. But it was, <laughs> I couldn't get out of bed. I could hardly stand. I had to like walk like a penguin. It was terrible. Finally, a new fire attack. Um, target becomes trapped in a fierce vortex that uh, rages four to five turns. That's pretty awesome. Should we swap that out with Ember? Ember only does 40. This one does 35 four times. So I think we should probably swap this one out. I don't see when I would ever use Ember. Although it can leave them with a burn. What about this one? This one doesn't leave them with a burn. I don't know. Yeah, Jetpack. I'm probably back to like 80% now. Like, I can get out of this chair. Well, let me try. I've been here for a long time. Oh, yeah. I got up just fine. I can get out of chair just fine. Couch. If I'm leaning very far back in a couch... It can hurt to get up when I'm laying in bed 
It's actually kind of difficult to get up the first time, but every day it gets a lot better. So keep Ember because he's a fire type. I guess Katamari, in case I ever run out of fire spin, then um, you don't want to lose that. So let's uh, maybe Fury? Let's get rid of, oops, wrong button. Whichever one's the weakest of those moves. Oh no, Max. Um, organic light diode disease. <laughs> Old. D d nice, nice. Okay, that's only 18 power. It does two to five times in a row though. Two times at 18, though, that sucks. Um, Dragon Rage always does 40 HP. Not bad. And Brick Break does 75. I think I might get rid of this Dragon type. Oh my gosh, the raids just keep on coming. <laughs> Let them get to the commercials. That, that's kind of what I always thought, Mass Trash. If I had, like, if I get a better fire attack, I want to replace the weaker one. So I have a range of other attacks when I need them. It's rare that I use all 15 attacks in a single battle or a set of battles, you know? All right. Forsaken Kraken, welcome Raiders to John Cadia. Tajay, thank you for that shout out. You were doing some Monster Hunter World. How is that going, dude? I played that a bit with my wife. I really like that game. Oh, I meant to ask you more, Jetpack, about Earthbound. Are you liking it? Have you played it before? I've never played Earthbound. I have a friend who had the original Super Nintendo box and ended up getting rid of it. Like he sold it at a nice profit, but he had the box, good condition, instructions, everything. And that box, like huge, things like this big. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna get rid of this Fury Swipes. It's kind of similar to that, but it's like way better. And fire, of course. So I guess if I run out of that, I will still have that. Is John gonna buy Switch? I probably will, Max. I'm actually kind of a sucker for party games because I like to have friends over, family, play games together. I will probably get Switch Sports. I enjoyed Wii Sports. It was fun. I never got like super into it. I never played it by myself. I only played it when I had friends over and it was a fun party game. But beyond that, it wasn't. Thing. It was cool. But yeah, I will definitely get Switch Sports. Looks like it'll be fun to play with friends. Is there anything else to catch in here? I'm looking for another special one. But I'm not seeing anything. That was a bummer because, man, we got so much experience from that big one. What would you guys do in my situation for grinding? Would it make more sense for me to run around and look for different places to catch stuff or maybe more special ones with like, you know, that are large or small. I can't go that direction. Right here again. It's totally straight. <laughs> Just tossed it to the side. Whoops. Okay. I need a wrist strap, apparently. Wrong button. There we go. Quit moving. Oh man, it's just not going that way. This way. <laughs> I feel like Spider-Man when he's learning how to use his like special abilities. Like, go web, go. Doesn't work. I think we should change places um, and hunt for Pokemon when grinding. That's kind of what I'm doing is just grinding these things to hunt them. But I could be finding different types too. Or like Into the Spider-Verse. That was such a good movie. This guy jumps way too much. Oh my lord. If this doesn't work, I don't think we're getting them. Are they making a sequel to Into the Spider-Verse? I hadn't heard about that. And Jetpack, funny story, you never played it, and you tried to stream it two years ago for the first time. You got about 10 hours into it, goofed and lost all of your progress. Oh no! You were so salty, not to mention you were having a really rough time at that point, and you had to put it on hiatus. I totally understand. Anytime you lose a big save like that, you almost never want to... Oh, 
Whoops. <laughs> Didn't even know I bumped that. Thank you, guys. Okay, so let's start going forward. And I'm going to try to find exclusively new Pokemon. Is that supposed to be a giant dick, or is that just my imagination? You guys see that? <laughs> Maybe it's just me. It's a Nintendo game. They wouldn't do that. Okay, let's go find more Pokemon. Do, 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 do. Oh, sorry, when I was answering Jetpack. Um, sorry, what I was trying to say, Jetpack, is... Uh, yeah, that's terrible. Oh, here's a big one. To lose that much progress in a game that you're playing. Like, it makes me never want to play it again. Especially, like, 15 hours. It's like, oh, do I really want to do all that again? That's awful. There we go. Raiden! What's up, Raiden? How you doing, dude? Did you see it too, Gumbers? Okay, I wasn't sure if it was just me or not. Okay, so since this is like a special one, only 300? Why did I get 1,800 for that one Psyduck that had like swirly things around it? I just want more of that. <laughs> Give me more of that. October 2022. It's coming quick. It's coming pretty quick. You need some water, Raiden? I, I need some water. Actually, I need some coffee pretty soon here. We'll take a short break, not right now, but in a little bit. I can go get some coffee, because I don't have work tomorrow. So we can uh, get some more progress in this game. Hmm. So, are all of these guys that are special like this worth more experience? This one's level... I know it's a combination of their level and some other stuff, and I thought if they're tiny or large, it's worth more. The huge ones are the best, okay. So this is tiny, but better than nothing. And Andrew's web shooter sound is so satisfying. Uh, I never even thought about that, Noob. I wonder which game, oh, there's a huge one, has the best web shooter sound of all the games, cartoons, movies, everything. I definitely got to check that one out, Jetpack. I don't know if I would stream it because it's probably a little bit long for the types of games that I stream, but I definitely want to check it out. I've heard it has some similarities to um, Undertale, and I loved Undertale. You think that Andrew Garfield's fighting? Oh, that was good. I think we got it. Long. Nice. Okay, so this one should be worth some good experience. Oh, you just started trying out Coffee Rainbow. I like tea as well, but for whatever reason, I typically only drink tea if I'm, like, not feeling good. I don't know why. Coffee just gives me a different kind of energy that I enjoy. Tea's a nice, mellow um, injection of caffeine, though. You don't get that huge boost, but it's a little bit prolonged, not as jarring to your system. Yeah, I heard about that jetpack. That made me more interested in playing, um, oh, what were we talking about? Earthbound, Earthbound. Are you excited about the Switch version coming out? I don't know if it's any different or if it's the exact same thing that you're playing. And then they also have Earthbound Beginnings, which I think is like a, I guess it's just the original game on the original NES. I don't know anything about that one. A lot of people to battle. I'm not seeing any more Pokemon match. Oh, Ellaby, you came back to say good. Oh, good night. Oh, good night, Ellaby. You got some good sleep there. They're all mother, right? Is is battling good for grinding though, noob? I always felt like battling takes way longer for the experience that you get. Just for like a efficiency standpoint. Maybe I'm wrong. And I feel like I waste way more items healing and stuff. <laughs> but it's good to learn these battles. Oh, but I'm still so, like, under-leveled to fight these things. I need to catch more to level up to fight these things. Blam! Well, that was pretty good. Luckily, I'm a higher level than this guy. 
But let's say you have two cans of soda and you have to drink both before you can get another drink. Should you shotgun both to get the drink sooner or take your time? Um, well, soda specifically. I don't think I'd ever sh shotgun soda. <laughs> but drink it. Are they two full cans, Raiden? I would definitely spread that out. That's a lot of sugar. You don't want to shotgun that. This is uh, from a couple years ago, I think, Rainbow. It's a remake of the original Pokemon game, I believe. There is one that just came out. This isn't that one. You blocked one of your legs, blood noob? Oh, is it your leg falling asleep? I hate it when that happens. Yeah, so maybe it's two games ago, Monkey. So there's the, the new Legend game, then Sword and Shield, and then this one was before that. I bet this is going to be a one hit. Blam! Oh, no, I not very effective. I was thinking that one would be. Oh, this is plant type. For some reason, at first, I thought that was a flying type. Um, okay. Oh, it's a plant type. Does flying work good against plant types? I know fire is good. Yeah, that worked out much better. <laughs> and Hasifa! It's a mix between the OG Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Go. Which is kind of a gateway drug, huh, Hasifa? To get folks that played Pokemon Go into the newer, more modern Pokemon games. Brilliant idea. I've made that mistake more than once, Katamari. <laughs> it's like, ooh, they're floating. <laughs> they're not flying. It's a trap. Oh, here's a giant one. Catch this. That was terrible. Oh, that was almost excellent. That was like so close. I have still not seen the new Spider-Man movie. I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm pretty much waiting till the end of the month when I can rent it at home. Hey, we got it. And Katamari, that one doesn't even have wings. <laughs> Such a misadvertisement. But you can t clearly tell it's a bird. So that one was only worth 300 experience. I don't know why that one was worth 1,800. I wish I could find more of those. I was going to do a few more battles here. You haven't seen the new one either, but you've avoided any spoilers. I've avoided any major spoilers, Rainbow, but I do know something little that was hinted at that was expected to be in the movie. Oh, I can't actually combat that guy. We'll keep going this way. But, um, yeah, it, it wasn't a big spoiler because I kind of figured something was going to happen, so it's not that big of a surprise to me. But I'm still excited to see it myself. And honestly, when you got a nice TV and sound setup, I actually prefer to watch movies at home most of the time. Because then I don't have to worry about, oh, are the, is everybody else there going to be cool and quiet? Are they going to talk to the movie? Am I going to see their cell phone screen in the dark? I don't have to think about that. And I get to cuddle with my dogs <laughs> while watching Spider-Man. So that's cool. Okay, so this is a plant type. Let's switch over to uh, our fire type. Oh gosh, but this one's level 40. It's still a problem. Same, Rainbow. I have not been to the movies either. I was ready to do it for Spider-Man, but we just never got around. What the hell was that? <laughs> was that a critical hit? That was terrible. Um, okay, flying type. We want flying against that? I don't know if water is good against grass. Let's try this. 
<laughs> Why would you do that, Raiden? I'm excited to see that new Batman movie, though. That comes out in just a couple months, I think. That is true. Sometimes a crowd is really cool and there's like... Especially if you go opening night. If you go opening night, generally the crowds are great because they're all big fans, they're excited to see it. Nobody wants to have their movie ruined. But if you go like three weeks later, some people stumble in, they could care less. They're just wasting time. So they're usually not the nicest people to watch a movie next to. Okay, let's try this out. I think this leech life was actually a lot of damage. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. And I think it gives me life over time, maybe. Oh my gosh. This is why I don't battle. <laughs> I'm too weak to battle. Um, okay, let's bring this one back out. Oh, you did the drive-in. It's so cool that you actually have a drive-in near you, Gumbers. Um, we had a drive-in, but they just closed recently, unfortunately. It's hard to find a drive-in now that's still, you know, working. Okay, let's try flying type. That was pretty effective. Still didn't kill it. <laughs> I'm scared we're dead. Is this thing not even grass type? It looks like it's more psychic type than anything else. Oh my gosh. They still have two more Pokemon? This is bad. This is not good at all. <laughs> it wasn't effective, but it knocked it out. <laughs> Thank goodness. It is grass and psychic type. Oh, have a good one, Electro. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back on Saturday. I don't think I have any full revives. I think I only have the regular ones. Oh, I didn't see what type they're bringing out. I'll keep battling with this right now. Starmie? The hell is this? Is this also psychic type? I don't even know. Try this. Good. That was not super effective against me. That wasn't super effective against it. Hmm. Let's try this. Oh, Misty had one. Okay. Oh, that's why we can't hurt each other. This thing is also water type. That one's effective. Okay. Let's uh let's keep this one alive. Let's use a super potion on ourselves. And let's use that attack. <laughs> this thing's painful. I think this will actually kill it. It was bite, right? Oh no, it got another attack off. Oof. Not quite. Okay, let's do another heal. See, this is where I feel that, like, combat is not as effective to level up if you're just grinding for levels as catching Pokemon, because these battles can take way, way, way longer than simply catching one with your balls. So time versus experience gain doesn't seem like it's very good. It changes up the gameplay, which is nice, but it, not as efficient, I don't think. Okay, this will take out this. Oh, no, he got another attack off. Darn it. Waste of a heal? Okay. Um, this is water type. I think I'm going to bring out this and resurrect Pikachu. Whack him! 
<laughs> I don't know if I have anything good with this. Green's probably not good against water. I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't have a full revive. Is that what they call it? Come back, Andy. Help me. Oh my gosh. It's super late for you, Rainbow. I'm glad you got to drop in for a little bit. You got some good sleep. Thank you so much for dropping in. At least it doesn't do much damage against us. Okay, so we revived them already. Let's go ahead and just... Let's try one of these. I don't know if it is effective. At the very least, it can heal me. I'll take that. It didn't do much damage, but it helped us. But this should actually finish it off. <laughs> Catamar plans to drink water for breakfast. True. Quite literally. Speaking of which, I still, I've had some sprinklers in our front that are busted I have to fix, and I've just been way too lazy. I, I actually started to look at it, and um, I couldn't find any labels on any of the sprinklers that were broken. Usually you can like find out what it is and just go get the exact replacement. I don't know what it is. I don't see a brand name or anything. So I think I just got to dig it up, tear it out, and try to find the closest match at Home Depot. Okay, I have no idea what this type is. I think I can go here. There we go. This one is fire type. Grass type is bad. Let's um, quickly bring back. Let's revive War Turtle before we get killed <laughs> because we're not going to be in good shape if we get attacked right now. And dead. Yeah, instantly. Super effective. Super dead. <laughs> but now we can bring this out and do some catastrophic damage ourselves. Did I just get a new attack that can heal me as well? No. Scald should do it, though. This might take care of it. Ouch. Okay, I should probably heal this round. I feel like any time you use a potion or something, you always get to go first. Luckily. Otherwise, half the time I'm trying to heal, they'll just kill me. Scald one more time. Mm, it's not going to kill it, but we'll get some much needed damage. Just so tough because I'm so under leveled. We just need one more. But I feel like I need to heal one more time. If War Turtle fails, everybody might get killed by this thing. I guess this is important versus um, catching Pokemon. The only way your characters can actually evolve is through battles, right? I don't know if you can evolve through just catching Pokemon. You can level up, but maybe you need battles to actually do that. Yeah, if I didn't heal, that would have absolutely killed me. I'm glad I did that. Thank goodness. And another kind of just logistical question, when it says that I just earned 600 experience, does everybody get that? Or just the one that fought? It says the other Pokemon get some experience, but I don't know if they get that much. Okay, I'm trying to find another place to catch Pokemon that are maybe higher level. Enjoy walking with your Pokemon even more on the Pokemon road. 
it doesn't have to be in a trainer battle. You need to get uh, levels to evolve most Pokemon. Okay, so it doesn't have to be even in a battle at all. It could just be um, as you're catching them, I suppose. Which seems like it's the quickest way to get experience. Busha City. Thank goodness. I need to uh, find the nearest Poke Center and heal up. Have I been here before? Let me look at the uh, map. This music sounds familiar. Hmm. I don't think I've been here before. I think this is new. So that means we have a new gym, huh? Can't get there from this side. I'll walk around. There we go. And um, Jetpack, you've played some of these games, right? What is your favorite Pokemon game? I think a lot of people are now saying the new Pokemon game is their favorite. Even though it's so different, it's doing a lot of stuff people have been wanting. Nice, Katamar. Okay, so it's just level-based. That's good to know. I kind of like how you can see which Pokeball you used to catch them when you do that. Like two of them were the giant balls, or great balls, is that what they call it? And four of them were just normal balls when I caught them. I don't think I'm ready for the gym quite yet. I want to find another path to see if uh, there's a better place to catch Pokemon out here. You played a couple? You need to work on Sun and Shield, but so far Emerald is your favorite. Which one did Emerald come out on? Was that like Game Boy Advance old or like 3DS? How long ago was that? Uh-oh, what did Pikachu find? A Slowpoke, <laughs> like best friends. What is going on? She's like herding all the Pokemon together or something. I don't think I could just catch these ones. What was that? I don't know what any of that meant. Yeah, these are ones you could just kind of talk to. I did see this back here. Oh, I thought that was a Pokeball at first. Whoops. So they were the first Game Boy Advance games. Okay, that's what it was. I, th I thought Emerald was an older one. Nice. And this Ruby Sapphire era. They did three that generation, didn't they? I might be pushing it a bit much. <laughs> Warden Slowpoke is very knowledgeable about Pokemon. He even has some fossils of Pokemon I've never seen. Speaking of, um, like the different variations when they release Pokemon games, the new one, Legends, doesn't have any variations. It's just the one, right? And the new Legends one is your favorite, Gumbers, from the traditional Pokemon games. You think Fire Red and Leaf Green were your favorite? Those are really old ones, huh? We nicknamed the Warden Slowpoke, because, you know, he has that vacant look of a Slowpoke. Kind of messed up. <laughs> so you found either the most useful or least useful place, Monkey. You can now transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Let's Go. Well, that's pretty cool. If you had something powerful in Let's Go, or Pokemon Go, you could bring it into this game. Ever since Warden Slowpoke went fishing the other day, it's been hard to understand him. All he does is mumble and moan. Maybe his age is finally getting to him. I don't know. Did he pull his back <laughs> like I did? <laughs> I'll let you know how old he is. The Legends is a new spinoff, though. A lot of us are speculating it will be the style going forward. Honestly, Tajay, I think it mostly depends on sales. If this game outsells other styles of Pokemon games, it will probably be the way going forward. 
And if not, then it was just a side game experiment. You're like, ah, let's go back to what makes the most money. Sadly, that's just usually how those things turn. Can't really catch anything over here. <laughs> you feel like the warden is a literal slowpoke, not just looks like a slowpoke. This is Route 15. I don't think I've been this way before. Let me just check my map real quick. 6.5 million in one week? <laughs> and Nintendo is printing money with the Switch. It's incredible. They're doing so good. Speaking of sales, how did Sword and Shield do, I guess, comparatively? I know it hasn't been out as long, but... Okay, this is a new direction. Yeah, let's see if we can catch some Pokemon this way. Oh, talk to that person next to the La Priest? I think I missed it. Was it up here? Where's Sarah? I said I'd meet her here to catch Pokemon. But all I'm catching is some weird looks. Yeah, I think there might have been somebody over here. I don't remember seeing a person up there. You have to get up in five hours, dude? Get some sleep. That's ridiculous. I uh, hope you have a fantastic stream and that all of you have a great night. Oh, it's so good to see you again, Jetpack. Hope you have a wonderful night as well. Get your five hours of sleep. Hopefully you can snooze a little bit. That's not enough. <laughs> but yeah, great to see you, dude. Thank you again so much for the raid. That Pokeball over there? Were you wanting that? Well, so was I. Huh. It's actually a Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not sure which guy you were talking to about, Monkey. I think I missed them. Yeah, I'm going to keep going this way. If it lets me go this way, I'm not sure. Oh, it was on the left side. Okay. When we get back there, I know I have to go back there at some point. So what level are these guys? Isn't this the one that I had before? Yeah, I had an Oddish before. Now it's level 33, but I don't know if that's... That's lower level than what I was catching before. It might be better to go back to where I was before. The grind. I definitely feel like I'm more accurate if I hold it like this. Yeah, it's not nearly as much experience. Yeah, if I don't see much higher level stuff out here... Oh, look at that moth! That's that moth you were talking about, huh, Tasha? Crap. It might be worth just going back anyway. Bird Keeper Edwin. Luckily, it's just one Pokemon. But what level is it? This is actually lower level than the other stuff we were fighting. Interesting. Yeah, now I can just wreck some of this stuff. See, now that was actually worth a decent amount of experience for such a short battle. I feel like if I keep going this way, I'm going back to a town I've been to before. It's kind of going backwards anyway, isn't it? Growlithe is fighting type, I think. Oh, this one has three Pokemon, okay. I guess I can always just check what they are using this. Oh, it is fire type, okay. Hmm. So we want to switch to our War Tornal for that. A little bit underleveled, but at least we'll be strong against it. <laughs> Crap, he's pissed.
There we go. That's much better. And another Growlithe. That's the same thing. We'll just we'll stay here. She probably has three of them. Now, Growlithe is supposed to be a dog, right? That's right, Taja. There was a lot of weird bad news about the game right before it came out, huh? So no, it's doing fantastic. I mean, a Pokemon's gonna sell well regardless, but it might not be, if it's a bad game, of course, breaking records. So I'm curious to see if they can do that. That'd be great. So that was a good experience for War Turtle, but I think only one time. Okay, oh, it did say everybody got experience. I wonder if they get the same amount of experience. Sweet. Oh, I think you guys had said level 36 for this. Does every Pokemon evolve at a different level? That's cool. Okay, that's the one I think I've seen in Smash Brothers. Now it's a blast toys, like, like tor tortoise. That's awesome. I kind of like that it's different for every Pokemon, so it's always kind of a surprise when it's going to happen. <laughs> this guy just said, give me all your cash. He's just going to mug me. <laughs> what the hell? He, like, doesn't even bring out a Pokemon. He just stabs me. Oh, a poison type. Hmm. He only has the one. I bet I can just fry it. We're also a higher level. That worked out. <laughs> His haze didn't do anything. Yeah, so Pikachu just got almost 600 experience. And then it says, your party in waiting also got experience, but I don't know if they got the same amount. Yeah, I imagine they probably will, Tajay. What's interesting is I wonder, with all the criticisms that they got for graphics and whatnot, Pokemon makes so much money. I wonder if they'll throw some more people at it try to, you know, help out the spots that it maybe got hit in the reviews a little bit for. See, this is good. It's low enough level that Pikachu can wreck most of this stuff, and then that helps level up everybody else, too. That's cool. No, that's a really good sign if it's the record holder for most sales in a single week. Especially because I remember on um, like Twitter and stuff, I saw a lot of people comparing screenshots of how it doesn't look as good as like Breath of the Wild and a few other games. Which is kind of irrelevant. It's a different type of game, but we're going to do whatever. <laughs> Try to make controversy. Okay, what was the ability that really hurt this guy? Wasn't that. I remember I found something that he was weak against, but I forget what it was. Crap, now we're poisoned. Was it the flying? I thought I had something that worked. Maybe not. Nice, we dodged it. Can't dodge the poison. 
Well, that didn't do like a ton of damage either. Let me try this. And if this doesn't work, I'll have to swap out. Oh, that works pretty dang well. Oh, he's doing a whole bunch of debuffs. <laughs> if this poison lasts another couple turns, I'll be dead. Luckily, this is his last Pokemon. Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, honestly, it seems kind of silly to complain about that as such a big deal, Tajay, because, like, we buy games that look like Undertale, you know? Does that game have good graphics? It looks like it was made 30 years ago, 40 years ago, even. So, like, that's not what they're going for. So, as long as you like the gameplay, who cares about anything else? And honestly, rather than like just technical, like the aesthetics of a game, I think are more important than the actual graphics from a technical level, I suppose. Should probably heal up before we go much further. Oops. Yeah, let's use one of these. Oh, and we're still poisoned though. We can't leave that. Um... The heck? Do I not have anything to help with poison? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> He's stuck right in, I noticed that. <laughs> He'll figure that out. Warning. Okay, I'm gonna go up this way and collect all the stuff I missed, and then we'll um, go back to town and recoup and explore a little bit. Oh, what'd you find? What do we get? Another pineapple berry. Sweet. I'll take that. <laughs> He's very powerful. The trainers around here are all very strong. That's right, I've trained every single one of them. I assume you want to get strong. Shall I be your battle opponent? Sure, why not? Even though we got a poison Pikachu. Poison doesn't go away by itself, does it? You have to, like, heal it, I think. Mm. I could see this guy being, like, water-based. He kind of looks like he has gills. Well, let's double check. He is fighting. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Way off. I don't know what's strong against fighting. Is it also fighting? That's pretty strong. Oof. That hurt. I can get like one more shot off and then I'll have to heal. Oh, I don't even think I have fairy. Now I should have enough time to do a heal for the next one. Nice. Oh my gosh. Uh, Magmar. Yeah, we should switch to the water one. I imagine that this is a fire type. I've actually never seen him in his full form yet. Does he have a butt on his head? He kind of reminds me of Dracula from Bram Stoker's Dracula. Okay, let's uh, blast him. Luckily, he didn't do too much. Not bad. One more of those and we got it. <laughs> if he hits me one more time, he's got it. There we go. <laughs> I mean, am I right or am I wrong? Look like a booty. Staring right at me. Sweet. I might need to heal. Oh, we got a, that TM for that. Nice. 
We should maybe give that to um, our fire Pokemon. Let's see. We want to go to bag. PM case. Seventy-five damage. That's not the greatest. What would we want to replace? Maybe Ember? Ember is only 40 damage. This is 75. Yeah, I think we want to do this one. <laughs> Thank you so much, Daje. <laughs> I don't even remember what type that Pokemon was, though. The Booty Noggin. There we go. That was a worthwhile upgrade. What else do we have here? Drill is land type or ground type. We know what fly is. Maybe fly would be good to give to all bat. Oh, take care, Gumbers. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope we get to see you again soon. Have a good one, man. I actually don't have any flying attacks with our flying creature. He's poison and flying. I don't have any of those. Um, I think maybe Confuse Ray. I'll switch. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. We're making these Pokemon so much more useful. Mega Drain. It's grass type. Give that to him. What do you have? I think it's better than Leech Seed, right? Leech Seed just steals some HP, where Mega Drain does 75 damage and takes half of that. Yeah, that's way better. And we get the same amount of attacks, which is great. So it's not like a downgrade in any way, shape, or form. I think that's good for now. Do I need to heal? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, we might get in a battle. Who needs a heal? Doing that. Andy definitely needs that. Let's see if I can just avoid her. Well, no, we should be doing battles, actually. There we go. It's good experience. So what is the overall story of what we're trying to do right now? Is it still stop that, uh, what is it called, Team Rocket from whatever they're trying to do, I think? This is a grass type. So let's switch out to fire. Luckily, switching is fairly quick. Ooh, that's right. We got a new ability, huh? That one's only 35, but it hits him four or five times. That's 75. Let's try this one. Actually, I've never even seen this before. Oh, are you kidding me? Now we're paralyzed? Let's try this out. Hopefully we can get a move off still. Oh, that was weird. He still has one more Pokemon. So the goal is always just to become a Pokemon Master, lead the Elite Four and the current champion, and stopping Team Rocket's just a side benefit, so that's not even like the main story. It's just kind of like, oh, you run into them and they're a bunch of jerks, so we should put a stop to them. I'm not sure what this one is coming out. I think it's a water type, in which case 
I don't have the right type of Pokemon right now. Is that right? Yeah, he's water. So let's switch to Andy. <laughs> Hopefully the poison doesn't kill us. Yuri attack. Oh. That's not doing too much. Oh, thank you so much, Raiden. You have a good one, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Man, poison is so brutal when you don't have any items to fix it. I gotta go buy some. Okay, this might be a one-shot kill. That's what I'm guessing. Blam! Yeah, thank goodness. Because I was gonna die if it wasn't. Sweet. Okay, we're getting some levels. Rash. Let's see what that is. It's a normal attack. 120 damage. Rampages and attacks for two to three turns, but then we become confused. That might be worth it. That's a lot of damage. What do we have here? That's 70. Doesn't do any. I think I might replace it with this one. Yeah, this just increases our attack for that round. Getting confused would suck after doing that big attack, but man, you'll probably kill most stuff before that's over. The only time it's going to be negative is if the battle goes on a long time. Surf. That sounds like it might be a good one. Or Blastoise. Check that out. PM case. Here it is. 90, 100, that's good. Attacks everything around it by swamping its surroundings with a giant wave. Oh, we saw that once. I remember that. Only he can learn it. This is probably better than one of his moves right now. What is withdraw? It just increases defense. Yeah, let's swap that. There we go. More powerful moves. Any special Pokemon there? I know I've caught that guy before. Okay, so we're going to go repair a little bit. And then I think we'll check out the town. I bet there's some more stuff we have to do there. Probably another trainer, to be honest, or a gym leader. Although, I don't know if I'm powerful enough to handle this gym. Here's the shop. I actually do need to buy some stuff. This town isn't quite as cool as the other one. The other town had, like, multiple shopkeepers in there and they sold some fancy stuff. A second ago, I thought I had a ton of money. Now it doesn't seem like that anymore. I have zero antidotes. So let's get, get a few of these. I'll probably just get five of everything. Because I have a feeling most of these kind of like poison last even after the battle. Which really makes it tough. Um, I think we have at least one of everything else. Okay. I think we're good. Let's see what else this town has to offer. Oh, I think that's the one you were talking about, monkey. Right over here. I think he said it was an ability or something. Yeah, I think it is. This Laprosse was getting in on age, but it's still a real beauty, wouldn't you say? We used to ride on waves and travel the whole wide world together. 
Lapras can't swim like it used to, so we'll stay here together. Thank you for listening. As a thanks, I'll teach you the secret technique, Sea Skin. With this technique, you can travel on water. Or Pikachu can. How are we going to ride Pikachu? Come on. I'm not sure if it can learn it. It's not a water type. <laughs> She's like, screw you. Yes, I can. Okay, I'll teach you the technique then. Now you have to keep balance on the water. Lower the center of gravity and keep balance with your upper body. <laughs> with my back, I can't do anything. And you learned the secret technique. Is it surfing? <laughs> That's awesome. You did great. I'll give you that board too. Now it makes more sense. Ride waves and travel the whole wide world together. So if I look at the map, it makes me feel like we're actually going to leave this island? Or is it just for shortcuts? Because there's this lake here. Yeah, I imagine we might leave this whole island. I don't know. Let's see if we can find a gym or something. I don't know what level this gym is. Am I prepared? Probably not. Oh, that's the Poké Center. Did I ever... I have not healed yet. I gotta do that first. It will also get rid of paralysis and different effects, right? I imagine it heals and get rid gets rid of all the negative effects at once. Okay, that's the gym right there, I think. So let's go here first. And then after this, we should actually probably save. Love that little chime. Oh, was there routes on the water? I missed that. Oops, wrong button. Ouija 666. <laughs> Let those commercials flow through. Oh my goodness. Let them get through the advertising as I check this map again real quick. Ouija 666. How are you doing? Welcome, Raiders, to John Cadia. How are you guys doing? We got Ouija, Lockhart Games. How have you been, Ouija? What were you streaming? What were you working on? So, and you were saying, Tashi, oh, now I see what you're talking about. This is the path to the water right there, right? You were doing some Yakuza Zero. I have never played a Yakuza game. I played Shenmue. I've heard Yakuza is kind of like a spiritual successor, but going off in a different direction than Shenmue. But I've heard great things about the series. How did you like it? Was this your first time playing a Yakuza game or have you played them before? But looks awesome. Looks like a lot of fun. I think I would really enjoy those games. You're doing good, Ouija. That's awesome, dude. Oh, and Becca Doodles. It's a Ouija raid. Almost missed you. How's it going, Becca? We are currently playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and I've never played a Pokemon game before, so I'm kind of learning as I'm going, very slowly. Chat is helping keep me <laughs> straight with all my knowledge and lore and whatnot, so it's really fun. Let's see here. And you said the Gray City in the middle of the other four? You will need to backtrack there. It has a gym. Gray City? Oh, right here. I see. Yeah, I guess I somehow missed that. I wonder if that path was blocked or I just totally skipped it. I'm not sure. And it is your first one, Ouija. You played a bit of it before, but not all the way through. So if you had to play them and you had access to all the Yakuza games, is Yakuza 0 the one you want to play first? Because I think it's like a prequel to the original. And then just kind of go in chronological order. That makes sense. And uh, Bika, you're doing good figuring out college stuff. Oh, that's not stressful at all, is it? And you're starting up school again. And you have to figure out what transfers to which part of the GE requirements. Oh, good luck with that, Bika. Talk to the counselors like crazy. I remember I transferred from a community college to a four-year university and figuring out what would actually transfer and what wouldn't, it kind of became a mess. I remember I ended up having to do, an, I had to do another couple semesters at the community college because stuff they told me would transfer would no longer transfer. I don't know if they were just wrong in the beginning 
or if requirements changed and now they needed this, but it kind of became a mess. It was a hassle, but I got it done in the end. So hopefully you don't run into that Vika. Yeah, talk to your counselors like crazy. And if, uh, if you can, talk to them at both places where you're going to school and where you're transferring to, because sometimes their uh, information is not the same, where really the school you're transferring to, that's almost the most important one. They'll know what you really need, but talk to both if you can. And when you take the underground path, Tajay, to the Lavender Celadon, the one where the grass gym, it skips past that town. Oh, that makes sense. Because that underground thing, that went forever. We just went right under it, huh? Okay, I think we healed up our stuff. Oh, you already got accepted. Nice. You originally thought 30 units would transfer, but looking at your unit transfer now, 55 tra That's the opposite problem that I had, Bika. That's amazing. For me, it was like... Not enough transferred. <laughs> For you, it's like even more transferred than you expected. Okay, I think we're going to save it and then try to take on that gym right there. I have no idea if I'm strong enough. I, I have gained some levels recently, but I was vastly underleveled, which has me worried. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm done with school. I I enjoyed it when I was there. I don't miss the homework. I don't miss the tests. <laughs> I miss learning. I miss the classrooms. And I miss being there with friends, of course. But no more school for me. Yo, champ in the making. We have the Safari Zone here in Fusha City, where you can meet tons of different Pokemon. And at the Fusha City Gym, we welcome trainers who've met lots of Pokemon. So... I'll just need to see if you managed to catch at least 50 species of Pokemon. I don't think I have. Oh, just barely. Well done. It looks like you've caught 51 species. I've heard that new Pokemon is actually pretty tough, Ouija. Nice job beating it. That means you are now worthy of challenging my gym. Oh, he's the gym leader here. What the hell? is going on. <laughs> Startled my, by my disguise, are you? I shall use my intricate style to confound and destroy you in battle as well. <laughs> Seriously, Katamari, I got very lucky. If I didn't do that grinding, catching stuff, I would have totally missed it. There's another one? I'm amazed every time I see that. He looked just like me, right? Oh, I really thought it was the same person. <laughs> now, head on in. Experience his moves for yourself. So this is going to be all fighting type Pokemon, I guess. And fighting type is weak against flying, right? Flying attacks. Okay, so what? Before him, I have to fight all these other ones. Oh, poison is... Oh, they're poison type. What's strong against poison? What do you think about the famed invisible walls of the Fusha City Gym? Invisible walls. I was wondering why I couldn't do that. Psychic? Oh no, I don't have that. I might have a couple psychic attacks, but I don't have a psychic Pokemon leveled up. You are challenged by Tamer Phil. <laughs> I love how like mundane some of their names are. Is this one poison as well? Oh crap. He's the same level as I am. This is bad. Let me check his stats. He is poison, okay. Yeah, I don't have Psychic. You think Ground works well? I do have a Ground Pokemon in my group. Let's try switching to Marowak. <laughs> Katamari, I believe that. I've also heard that from Phantasma. Homework as a teacher is terrible. It takes up so much time. Wait, is Marowak ground or rock? Sometimes I get the two confused. I think it's correct, because that did not do much damage. Hey, you got two attacks, you jerk. I gotta speed up my Pokemon. Oh no, I hate poison. Luckily, I just bought some... Uh, Cure po potions or whatever they're called. He is ground. Okay, thank goodness. He's going to be my VIP in this. Man, 
Hey, he just cured himself. What the hell? It's a thing. Um, I'm gonna keep battling with this Pokemon. <laughs> Fantastic. Follow me for more tips. Uh, let's see, this is probably the same. Also poison. Same level. We didn't take much damage. Let's try this again. That did a little bit more. I gotta use some of those items that increase my Pokemon speed. Oh, that move is so cool. Nice. So we gotta get rid of the poison. And also heal him up a little bit. I think he's the only one that took any damage. Is it Elixir? No, Antidote. Antidote gets rid of the poison, huh? Yeah. Oh wait, he cured himself. That's right. I don't have to even do that. Um We'll just use a potion. Oh, that's so good, Phantasma. I wonder if there's homework you could give that wouldn't be a lot of time-consuming work for you, you know? I guess like a multiple choice thing that's online, that could be graded immediately without you having to do anything, right? Okay, I'm trying to make my way around this place. I'm assuming I can only battle the gym leader after I take out all these guys. And in the OG games, Tajay, it only mattered for certain Pokemon to evolve, and now they can cure themselves of status conditions, avoid KOs, dodge attacks. It's really cool. I like it. It's a fun surprise when you think you're about to get screwed, and then you survive somehow. Oh yeah, what did I do against this guy? He's also just poison, so... Honestly, we're, we're bringing out... Marowak for all this. And it's good because he's going to get a lot of experience from these guys. Actually, I should probably make him my starting Pokemon, huh? So I don't waste a turn bringing him out every time. Because then he can get attacked without having a chance to fight back. hell? He just shrunk himself? What did that do? Oh, he can dodge better now, huh? Dodge this! And he put a shield up. I don't know if that's going to help you, dude. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to hit him. I think he did dodge. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, after this battle, we'll swap him out. That's a good idea, Phantasma. And when you're in a better mood, they're going to see better criticisms and stuff on their paper <laughs> versus just like you being like, no, this is dumb. F. You might be like, C minus. Work on this and this. Come talk to me after class kind of thing. Oh, this one's not Earth type. Or poison. It is also poison, but it's also bug type. Um, what is fire good against bug? But this should still be effective. It's so high level, though. I didn't even get to do anything. I just wasted it. Ouch. I think we could take it on one hit. So a neutral against bug poison type since bug resists ground. Oh, so it's just normal damage. Okay, I had no idea. Uh, let's try this actually. Oof.
Oh, that was kind of a waste. He kind of tired himself out there. And then I went underground so he couldn't hit me, but he couldn't hit me anyway. I just hope I do enough damage to hit him. Kill him one hit. Ooh, just barely. Okay, good. Thank goodness. Okay, now let's swap him out to be first. So I think I do that in the party menu. Grab him. There. I think we're good. And we have to heal him up, of course. That should be good for now. <laughs> I, that's true. I did see that, Captain. I might have got killed by that, too. This area gives you glimpses of where you can go on the floor. You gotta wait for a second. There we go. I was a magician once upon a time, but I dreamed of becoming a ninja, so I joined this gym. The Phantasma's got a great sense of humor. I bet you'd be super fun to have as a teacher. Is this one poison type as well? see here. Yeah, Poison and Ghost. Okay. Well, that's good because Ghost doesn't nullify Earth, I don't think. <laughs> I hope not. So let's try this out. Oh man, whenever he does that, I waste like an attack. It goes away and I don't actually get to throw my uh, boomerang. Ah, you jerk. Oh yeah, that was good. And a critical hit. You assume Protect would like allow them to soak up some damage, but I just don't even get to attack him at all. Okay, am I still poisoned? Yeah, let's go ahead and use one of those items that I picked up. Medicine... Antidote. There we go. How long have you been teaching again, Phantasm? It's been a while, huh? <laughs> Don't assume they all hate you. I'm sure that's not the case. Ten years, that's so cool. So Protect does nullify an attack, but you can't use it twice in a row. Okay, that's good to know. Ooh. You know, this one's... We have three to take care of, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. You just poison me. Jerk! Oh, I wish we could save the boomerang for the next enemy that's about to come out. Oh man, it's so funny, like, I could never make fun of somebody having problems speaking English, that English isn't their first language, because I screw up English all the dang time. I'm gonna keep this one here. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't carry over. That did some damage. Holy crap. Oh, and we expelled the poison. That's good. Ha, missed me.
That's a good way of thinking of Phantasma. I like that mindset. Wait, did the poison come back? Hey, we leveled up. Oh, it did still get me. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, I think I'm going to level up. Or use a potion. But keep him in the battle. Keep battling. <laughs> In that context, that sounds super rude. <laughs> Did not miss you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> oh, it was great. So you, you, you don't just have to assume that all your students hate you, Phantasma. <laughs> we can expand that a little bit. Oh, nice. He tried to do something crappy to me, but he failed. Let's get our another dig off. Ooh. And unfortunately, the poison, of course, will still damage me, even though I'm underground. Nice. We avoided an attack with that. That's good. So now we just need to use a um, antidote, a heal, and we're good to continue. But before we do the main battle, I want to go back and recharge all of the Pokemon. Hey, nice, another Evolve. Is this like the big dragon thing? Yes, okay, this is the form I'm much more familiar with, I think. Now we got a Charizard. Seriously, Phantasma? Wow. <laughs> not a dragon. Sure looks like a dragon, but not a dragon. Um, and you want all your moves for the main guy? Yes. Yeah, we definitely need to refresh, huh? <laughs> I love that. Well, I th I'd imagine it's true with you, Therapy. <laughs> they either don't know you exist, or they love you. That's it. That's the only options. Yeah, let's see what this wing attack is. Okay, it's a flying type. 60 damage, 100 accuracy. Doesn't do any kind of special abilities. Really not that great. Dragon Rage always does 40 HP. I don't know how that translates power. Brick Break does 75. You think Fire Spin? You know, when I first read this, Tajay, I thought it did 35 damage four or five times in a row, like in one turn. But that's not true. It does like 35 now, 35 the next turn, 35 the next turn. So that's not bad. But, um, it's not as cool as I thought it was going to be. I actually thought it was way more powerful. Yeah, it doesn't seem that cool. And we get a new ability as well, like a, a type. We didn't have a flying type with him. And now he's a flying type Pokemon, so it's even more damage. So when we attack something that's weak against flying... We're just going to trash him. Let's go back here. Let's do a antidote. Thank goodness. <laughs> I did notice you come back, Max. Yes, I did. <laughs> Speaking of which... Lurk break, did you go have some food or something? Where you been, Max? And you got your students to analyze some different uh, varieties of English, and they were amazed at how different they all were. I've been in America my whole life. 
And I can watch movies that have people from like Boston, Massachusetts, or in the South and different places. And I sometimes don't understand what the hell they're saying. So yeah, there's a lot of different kinds of English for sure. <laughs> or other countries as well. There's definitely been English movies. I've had to turn the subtitles on because I don't know what the hell they're saying. Look up Gula. It's from America and you would not even know. Is that another kind of like variety that people say? And it was a food break and you're messing around on the MacBook Pro installed Monterey to it via Open Core Legacy Patcher. Oh, Monterey is the new Mac OS. Right on, dude. Man, you are making those Macs work. I love it. And you don't see that a whole lot. People kind of like doing extensive work on Max, because they're kind of usually so closed up, it's kind of hard to do too much. So it's an English Creole developed with descendants of enslaved Africans. Wait, Phantasma, do they all sound like um, <laughs> all the characters that we were hearing in Gabriel Knight, the first one? You're in like Louisiana and you hear a lot of Cajun, I think kind of Creole sort of, you know, dialects. But let us... Speaking of which, switch to our new Charizard. Wait, but this one's also poison, isn't it? I was thinking it was just plant-based. I should have just wrecked it with that bone. That sounds bad. Okay, let's do this. I'm sure this will still do good damage. Yeah, that was super effective. And Max, being that, like, you know, Linux and stuff as well, are you excited for, like, Steam Deck and how much progress they're making with Linux as far as, like, gaming? Because I think it's pretty cool to, like, unshackle PC games from only being mostly on Windows systems. And it seems like they're making huge strides, which is awesome to see. So this is South Carolina. You probably wouldn't recognize it as English, but it is English. I'm gonna check that out. That's pretty cool. A wheezing. I don't remember what that is, but I'll keep this one in here. That one's like flying type, isn't it? Oh no, he's just floating. Maybe not. He's just poison. Okay, let's switch out. Do I have any land attacks? Not really. Okay, yeah, let's switch switch out to uh, Harwalk. Yeah, I mean, that, I imagine that the Steam Deck is going to actually sell quite well and quite a bit. So if that keeps up, I could definitely see people putting more focus into like making sure PC games have good controller support and good um oh, that's right I don't have that anymore oh crap are we gonna survive that oh just barely but controller support better just support Linux in general oh yes I forgot they soldered the RAM on there that was pretty good I don't think we're going to survive another one, though. Maybe if I can use a potion right here. Just barely. <laughs> I like it when you heal them and it says they were thrilled to bits. They're just so happy. Ooh, and we're burned. Oh, this is bad. Okay, I have to get this attack off, otherwise we're going to get killed. Nope. They got him to attack first. Ducks. Oh, he toughed it out! Oh, but the burn's going to hurt us, isn't it? I think the burn might still kill us. Come on, Marowak. Get that hit in. Yes! We did it! One hit point, and we survived. That was tough. That was tough. Hey, 
That's wild. Yeah, because English became sort of like the big trade language and it's kind of learned all around the world. What would be the most common language if English didn't prevail, I wonder? <laughs> I don't blame you, Taja. I don't blame you. <laughs> Poor Max. Definitely not Finnish. Speaking of Finnish, Max, um, didn't Remedy just release a new game? I think it's on Xbox Game Pass, and I'm sure you could probably buy it. Uh, what is it called? Crossfire? Which, every time I hear that name, I just think of that really fun, cheesy 80s board game. But... Uh, it's also like a Call of Duty type of game, I guess. Okay, I think this is the last one we need. And then after this, we'll go recharge our abilities, save it, and then take them out. Oh yeah, I forgot about Crossfire's AMD's SLI, that's right. Oof. Okay, we made it. This guy has three that we have to take care of. This could be a problem. Luckily, we're starting to catch up in levels. Oh, nice. Oh, I wish it was a one hit. Actually, no, let's heal up. I agree, Katamari. I wasn't never a big fan of multiple GPUs. Even back when it was much better supported, it seems like they often had weird bugs and other issues, so it was usually not even really worth the, the extra work and money that it took. And imagine trying to get like a PC now with two big graphics cards. A single graphics card is just stupid expensive. Yeah, same, Max. I'm very excited for Alan Wake, too. Alright, that's two down, one to go. <laughs> Phantasma, you're lucky. I charge good money for this info. As you should. As you should. If you're good at something, charge it. Charge for it. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. It's probably another poison. Let's keep this one out. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought we had already taken one out. This is still the first one. That's okay though, Phantasma, because you're working on it. You're working on it. You're finding some place that will properly, you know, fund your abilities. Now, I really feel like all my Pokemon are like super slow. They all seem to take two turns for my one turn. Oh, are you kidding me? Hey, it didn't stop us. Okay, that's good. Where are you going tomorrow, Phantasma? An, an interview, I'm guessing? That's my first guess. Costco. <laughs> You're gonna give us a new update on the TV? The saga? of the ginormous TV that can never sell. <laughs> I'm going to be so sad if it ever goes away. How much did you say it was? Like 20 grand? Like I could never imagine spending $20,000 on a television. Okay, only one to go. That's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. You get a $5,000 Costco gift card. <laughs> what a steal. <laughs> Can I just have $5,000 off the TV? That's ridiculous, Katamari. And I think from what I've seen, the only time that actually helps you is if you are doing, um, like, benchmarking. You know, like, just running numbers for your, like... I guess, statistics. It doesn't help you really at all in games, Katamari. They just 
I mean, at this point, it's so niche, it's not worth them even programming to take that into effect. Hey, we did a critical. We took them out in one hit. Nice. <laughs> you have to put it on their credit card to give interest. Oh, do they require uh, to get that 5,000 Phantasma to use a Costco credit card? That's wild. Hey, I think that's all of them. Yeah, so now we're gonna go heal up, save, and then take out the main guy. Okay, I'm feeling a bit better now. When we first started the stream, we were just getting wrecked in every battle we went into, and I was like, we're gonna have to grind so much to catch up. And I feel like we're doing okay. Oh no, it was right next to me. Whoops. That's true, Fantastic. I mean, there's some weirdos out, not weirdos, there's some people fortunate enough to just be like, oh, 20 grand on a TV? Sure, drop it down. That's not me. It's a different kind of lifestyle. You know, the type of people that wouldn't even have to like put it on a credit card, they just pay cash. <laughs> Probably not Phantasma. Well, no, I mean, he still needs stuff, food and whatnot. But they don't go to Costco. They have people that go to Costco for them and truck the groceries back and put it away. They don't go themselves. And I doubt those servants are going to be buying a $20,000 TV unless they were told to. So let's save right here. There we go. And do I ever do RPGs with chat? You found a good silent one. It's all text-based. Well, I mean, this game's technically all text-based and it is in a way an RPG. Is that what you mean? Or what do you mean a uh, silent one, all text-based? Most RPGs are text-based. Some have full voice acting, but I feel like most are just text. Oh, I still have to get to him. They're not going to fight me again, right? I already kicked all their butts. I just have to find my way around. I think it was this way. You say play it as a group. I did play one RPG that you could play multiplayer pretty recently. Well, like three years ago. Called uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. And that was really great. So it's like a everyone gets a role. And then they're in a fake group chat trying to figure out where this girl named Alice is. So you could play it on Discord. And it's called Alice is Missing. It's more of like a board game sort of thing, it sounds like. That might be pretty cool. I'll have to check out some YouTube videos to see how it's played, what it's like. Oh no, there's four of them? <laughs> A mere child like you dares to challenge me. The very ID makes me shiver with mirth. I don't know what that is. Speaking of English, that I don't know very well. Very well. I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. I feel like I should know that word, I just don't. Opponents can't lay a hand on me, as poison brings their steady doom. Happiness, thank you, Phantasma. Uh, Mirth was like the second cousin to Marth, that, uh, <laughs> what is it, Fire Emblem character in Smash Brothers, I don't know. Despair as you feel the creeping horror of poison-type Pokemon. The sailor outfit's great. I haven't found a better one yet. Gym leader Koga. Good. I'm glad that we picked him to start now. So what level are your Pokemon? 43. Oh, damn. Six levels above us. This could still be tricky.
<laughs> Cheater. <laughs> he got out of that attack. Let's try it again. Nice. Oh, that's tough. I, I do win about a third of his health every attack. Son of a... Poison in the first attack, seriously? We're going to be using a lot of healing potions, I, I can tell. Okay, only three to go. Hey, there we go. That's good. Let's level up. Even the odds a little bit. Can you evolve in the middle of a fight? That would be awesome. Now we're going to keep, keep Marowak in here. That's true. That was probably one of the only games at the time that was like, okay, SLI and graphics might be worth it. Might be. <laughs> I've never SLI'd graphics cards before. I never, like, honestly considered it, to be truthful. Oh, so close. We almost one-shotted him. Oof. Good. Got rid of the poison. Let's see if we can do that. Only at the end of battles. That's what I thought, Katamari. That would have been cool to do in the middle, but not expected. Come on, Marowak. You're my only hope. Ha! <laughs> he failed his attack. Nice. I really wish I could save the second attack for the next Pokemon that comes in. Gold Bat, that's a flying one. Flying is good against ground, isn't it? So I wonder if I should switch to Pikachu or something. Is flying strong against ground? I know earth is strong. Maybe not. Earth and water are strong against ground, right? The earth, water, and flying. We'll keep for now. But I think it might be better to switch to Pikachu. Yeah, it honestly was never really worth the headache, I don't think. Oh, flying is immune to ground. Crap, I should have switched that. It is a long stream. Otherwise, I'd already be busted, Phantasma. <laughs> um, yeah, let's switch to Andy. That's not bad, get 50% more performance. That's pretty cool, Max. Not worth the money, of course, if you're not getting 100% performance, but it's better than nothing. At least it's not broken. <laughs> Thank you, Ben Like well, John, are you supposed to be up this late? <laughs> I like that. I'm probably not going to try to go until like 1 o'clock in the morning. I'll probably try to quit around 12, 12.30, just because I haven't been getting the best sleep with my back and all that. So it'd be good to catch up a little bit. <laughs> what a great advertising slogan, right, Katamari? Nice. I think that was the last one. You should get to sleep, Phantasma. I don't have to wake up at any particular time tomorrow. And now, uh, let's switch back. Oh, you need to stay up. I'm doing you a public service. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, I would. It, it's going to wreck your sleep schedule just doing that. You might go to sleep, wake up in an hour, and then not be able to go back to sleep. Oh, wait. Flying is immune to ground. I did not want to swap. That might be the trickiest thing about being new to this game, is I just don't really know the names of them all, so it always surprises me. I'm like, oh crap, that's the wrong one. Huh? 
Can you, like, wean the dog off of that schedule? Like, why two in the morning? Or is it because of the vet visit tomorrow, specifically? I think it's going to take one more, and then we should have it. Oh, you should try to roll that back by, like, two hours, if you can, Phantasma. I don't know if eight's too early for you, but if you could do it at eight in the morning, four... And then midnight. That'd be great. That's not staying up that late. I would imagine two o'clock in the morning would be tough for you. Oh, but you're still teaching. Never mind. That doesn't really work out for your schedule. Oh, no. Max, is that still a thing with the windowed borderless? I kind of thought that... Windowed borderless works just about as good as full screen now. Hey, we got him. You have proven your worth. Seven grand. It actually wasn't too bad with the right Pokemon. Here, take a soul back. Bam. Katamari, what was the not very cost efficient GPU last year? <laughs> Now that you have a soul badge, Pokemon up to level 60 will heed your command if you receive them in a trade. Ah, take this too. And we got Toxic. I don't actually have a... Wait, I think I do have a Poison type Pokemon now. It is an ancient move passed down through my family for 400 years. When hit with Toxic's poison effects, a Pokemon will take more and more damage with each turn that passes in battle. That's good for a long battle. It will surely terrorize your opponent. Pikachu demands love. Get in this. Andy is so happy over the wind that it's laughing. Aww. <laughs> the cuteness is just so ridiculous. I can see why just an entire generation of kids just fell in love with this stuff. Okay, what was I going to do? Bag? TM case. Ah, oh, that can only be one card, Katamari. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> right on. You beat me. You beat me. I only have a measly 3080 Ti. Although, from what I've heard, I think it depends on the game you're playing. Some games, because the clock speeds and different things are better in one versus the other. Sometimes I think mine can beat a 3090, but I think most of the time a 3090 beats a 3080 Ti. That's awesome, though, dude. Sweet. Um, toxic. Oh, they can all learn it. Hmm. That seems like a cool ability. Isn't the bat poison type? Let me double check that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I should give that to him. It sounds like a good ability. Maybe it's not. It is like a damage over time thing, though, and you know me, I'm not patient with that. Oh, dang, Max. That sucks. I was thinking about getting a new SSD. I should order that stuff real soon then, Max. Thanks for the heads up. It's sickeningly cute, isn't it, Ouija? Oh, it's ridiculous. And the sound effects, the noises she makes. It's like, yeah, you're just a money-making machine, aren't you? And everything can learn toxic. That's good, though. That's a good good attack. And good thing the 3090 has enough VRAM to create a RAM disk to fit Crisis and play the game for... See, that's really neat. Not, it's more of a bragging right than anything else, because why would you need to do that? But it's just kind of fun that, yeah, I can load the entire game into my video RAM. Okay, so... Now that we finished this gym, let me check the map again and see where we need to go. I'm actually not sure what direction we need to go. Let's see here. 
we can go up to the right. And then I think we want to go here. Or I can try to go down because we got that, um, what was it? The surfboard. Maybe we should do that first. <laughs> I don't think I'd mess with that either, Katamari. But it's just funny to say that you can do it. Let's tr oh, you know what? I bet we can go through one of these houses and get through to get that Pokeball. This empty house was borrowed and repurposed as a place to share information, but with all these experts around, the place feels a little tense. <laughs> do it, Max. Do it. Oh my gosh, that'd be the most expensive computer. There we go. A super lure. I don't think I found that yet. That would make sense. Yeah, I bet you couldn't. You could probably load it after the fact and then maybe run off of it, but not boot from it directly. But VRAM is so dang fast. If you got that working, that'd be really interesting. Um, I can't go down. Where can I actually get to that boat area? I gotta go back and around. Oh, I need to heal up, huh? Yeah, let's go to that Poké Center first. That's crazy, Katamari. I think the 3080 Ti has 12 gigs of VRAM, which I guess to be honest, it's like not too far away from getting filled up as well. Yeah, you won't have that problem with the 3090, <laughs> that's for sure. I wonder which game has the most V no mods, just natural game requires the most VRAM. It's cool to start to see our larger Pokemon with all the uh, upgrades and evolving they've done. Here we go. Now we're going south. Ah, these jerks. We've heard there were loads of rare Pokemon in that Go Park place, so we came to check it out for ourselves. But it was so complicated. App this and connectivity that. It was so creepy we had to get out of there. Why can't I just trip over the get-rich-quick scheme already? Wouldn't that be nice? Hmm. Feels like I just kicked something really hard. Could it be some kind of treasure? At last, our big score. Let's see what it is. You know, my favorite ray tracing to this day, Max, is still Minecraft. It looks great with ray tracing on. Wow, just look at that shine. This has to be some amazing treasure. As if... Yuck! What are these? Some kind of gold teeth? Teeth? No matter how gold they are, some things just aren't worth the effort. Ah, it's the twerp. What are you doing here? Never mind that. Take these off our hands. Wait, a pair of gold teeth were thrust upon you. You know, with the way the consoles are right now, I don't think you're going to have a problem in the next five years for sure, Katamari. I think it won't be until another generation of technology really comes around that, okay, now they can actually use more than 16 gigs or 20 gigs. We're busy, so take care of those, whatever those are for us. That's right. Now it's time for our fantastic getaway. <laughs> Want to hear a scam? Oh, we talking about NFTs, Phantasma? Or what kind of scam are you talking about? <laughs> Katamari, one brain cell. One brain cell. Full heal, which is a cure, not a heal. Oh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh-oh. They're scamming in that game? Oh, these are battles. I thought I just talked to this guy. <laughs> Horizon 1, Don? <laughs> I like that. Swimmer Reese. Look at that pose. I can hardly do that with my back, but it's a nice pose. Ooh. 
That's not good. I want to switch my Pokemon around again. Well, for this guy, I want to bring out against water. We want water beats fire, lightning. Yeah, we want Andy. <laughs> that does seem pretty silly, Phantasm. Why ever get the PS5 version? I guess the only time that would be useful, Phantasma, fast forward a hundred years when you, you're dead and you don't even play PlayStation anymore, but if you did and they took down those PlayStation servers, if you had wiped the game from your hard drive and you wanted to put the disc in to play it, you would only be able to play the PS4 version even if you owned a PS5. But if you had the PS5 disc, you'd be able to play the PS5 version. That's like the really only exception that, that would be useful, I guess. Otherwise, yeah, that's really silly. Wait, not very effective. I really thought that was going to be a water type. Hold on. What the heck are you? Dragon type. I don't know what hits dragon. Um, air? Maybe air hurts dragon? I think it was effective. 100% <laughs> Phantasma. Yeah, it, it definitely pays to like learn that kind of stuff. You know, I feel like I I kind of did this thing because I'm, I'm betting on Game Pass. Game Pass, I think it's a really fantastic service, but I have a feeling they're going to drive up the price in the next couple years pretty quickly because of how much they're putting into that and how many subscribers they're getting. They're going to do the Netflix thing where a couple times a year they increase the price a little bit. So what I did is, uh, I don't know if you can still do this, but you can load up your Microsoft account with Xbox Live Gold, which is only five bucks a month. So for 60 bucks, you can load up a year. And then for a dollar, if you've never used Xbox Game Pass before, you can upgrade all of your existing Gold membership time into Game Pass Ultimate. So I just loaded three years of it and upgraded it all for a dollar. So I got, three years of Game Pass up through 2024 when I first started it. Um, and I'm good with Game Pass Ultimate. Whereas if I was to do that naturally, just 15 bucks a month, that would have been like 500 something dollars to do that. Ridiculous. Yeah, I think we got a while for that on PC games, Katabari. I think you're right. That's very true, Max. Yeah, we're in this weird period where so many people are still playing the previous generation, and part of the problem is they just can't get out new consoles fast enough. So I have a feeling that it'll uh, it'll even itself out in like another year or two. Hopefully not two years. What was this one again? This guy was water type, wasn't he? I'm trying to memorize these. Water and psychic. Yeah, so this one I do actually want to switch to uh, Andy. I gotta put Andy as my first Pokemon again. But also, uh, is it Katamari that said that? Somebody said that. When you're talking about scams, NFTs. <laughs> also a big scam. Oh yeah, that worked out well. One shot, dead. You know, everybody's testing the water. It's so funny. Like, I think at least four or five gaming companies, not just Troy Baker, but like gaming companies trying to sell them directly, have dipped their toe in the NFT waters and people have so much outrage, they're like, just kidding. <laughs> I think Brie Larson just bought one or something. She wasn't like actively trying to sell them like uh, Troy Baker, right? I thought that she just like, oh, look, I got this thing. 
You know, she wasn't like trying to hawk him or anything, I don't think. At least I didn't see that. Oh, she is sponsoring the company? Ugh. The water is moving. Do you want to use the secret technique sea swim? Heck, yes, I do. Oh my goodness. Alex. Alex, mother Friesman, with the gift sub to Captain Katamari. That is three subs you have gifted in this channel, dude. Thank you so very much, Alex. I'm gonna say, why are you still doing awake? But I forget what time zone you're in. Usually around this time, people start to die out because it's getting super late for folks, you know, on the East Coast. You're in a totally time, different time zone. It's like the middle of the day for you right now. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alex. That's awesome of you. And Alex catching two of those and Phantasma. Good catches, guys. Okay, let's try out this new secret swim technique. Still at work. So you say you have consistent work now. Oh, I can actually control this. Oh, this is rad. Um, how much... Uh, what is your schedule like? Are you kind of like a Monday through Friday, 9 to 5? Is it super convenient and predictable? Or is it kind of like, ah, eh, some weeks I work this, some weeks I work that. Let's try to catch this guy. A water type. A tentacruel? Oh, I like that name. That was terrible. I need two hands for this. There we go. That was better. <laughs> Therapy. I like it. It works. It's very on brand for uh, Samuel Gordon. Lots of smiles and then death. Dang, that was worth a lot of experience. Get some more of those. I've heard that, Ouija, that Poke Pokeball controller is much more accurate. But this one, I'm getting a little bit better, but I have a hard time going this direction on the screen. Every time I try to go that way, it wants to go the other way. So I have to switch hands and do it that way. Oops. I'm trying to do that right now, Pikachu. We're busy swimming here. Oh my gosh, Alex. And we're getting into battle. Alex again. <laughs> Wrong screen. Four gift subs. Now one to Ouija. Thank you very much, buddy. Holy cow, you do not have to do that. Seriously. You do not have to do that. <laughs> Get to work. Get to work, Alex. Let me catch this creepy star, which I actually don't have one of these yet. So this would be cool if we can get one. See, I can't get it to go that way. There we go. It's like no matter what I do, it goes a different direction. <laughs> oh, you're getting some overtime, Alex. Nice. I don't get overtime in my work. It's possible, but only in very specific situations where, like, I don't have any option but to work extra. Oh, wait, did I leave these on the screen? I forgot to bring them back. There we go. Um, yeah, there's some times where they, I, they force me to work a lot of extra and I might get overtime, but it's not a normal thing. Not at all. And King Beer, I love your name. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> what is your favorite beer, King Beer? I actually had a really good beer over the weekend. Um, it was a cinnamon dolce nitro brew, and it was so good. Oh my gosh. I'm excited to have some more this weekend. It's kind of a weird looking Pokemon, but we'll take it. Good to have all, good to have them all. I also have never caught this one before. Let's see what this is. Or is this the same thing? No, this is different. This one's different. Nice catches, Alex, Ouija. I gotta be careful doing it this way because I threw the controller one time. This is why you should use a wrist strap. Oh, you jerk. Dang, weren't you at like 3,100 at the beginning of the stream, Alex? Something like that? Huh? Hey, got him. Tentacool. Okay, that's a good name. You're not given as much experience as that first one. He must have been a higher level or something. So 
So what am I supposed to do? Battle these kids? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a special one there. Oh, that's cool. They actually found a little piece of ground to, like, land on. I keep forgetting to switch Pikachu out to the front. So, did you already tell me what game you were going to play, Alex, or are you keeping that a secret until the time comes? Some people let me know ahead of time, and other folks like it to be a surprise. This was actually the biggest surprise for me, this Pokemon game. I really expected um, Tajay to pick Mass Effect 2 when they had he had the points again. This would probably be a one-hit thing. We did talk about it one time. Oh, I, I won't remember. Unless it's one you've played recently or something. 98 gigs! Oh my gosh. Not as bad as Call of Duty. I think those games are like 200 gigs now. But still, that's big. But it might be smaller, Max, on the PS5. I know with like loading abilities, it's actually been a lot... Um, what do you call it? More efficient, so they can actually do smaller file sizes, which is really nice. Hey, King Beer! I'm oh, sorry, I don't know if you missed my message earlier, but I was curious. What's your favorite beer? Oh, is that one PS5 exclusive? I thought almost all these games right now were on both consoles for a little while anyway. I know there's been a couple, but I thought that that one was also on PS4. Never mind. Ah, oh, dang it. That's moving around too much. Yeah, we did play the first game in the Legendary Edition, Ouija, but I haven't started the second one yet. Nice. Okay, I think we got that. <laughs> That's not true, King Beer. There's a lot of bad beer out there. It is the PS5 version that was 98 gigs. The PS4 version might even be bigger. I don't know. See, that was worth a good amount of experience. That was worth it. That's true, but the new Horizon isn't coming out on PC right away, right? We might not see that for years on PC. Interesting strategy that Sony's taking. It's kind of smart, I think. Like, release PC versions, but only after you've gotten all your exclusive sales on the uh, PlayStation ecosystem. Not a bad idea. What do you guys think of all the companies buying everybody up? Microsoft buying a bunch of people, Sony just purchased, Destiny, Bungie? I don't know. I'm not a fan of it. Um, I do think it's good that Microsoft bought Activision, because Acti still forgot to switch out to Pikachu. Activision has been kind of a cesspool recently, and I just hope that they can kind of clean house and give them a fresh start. But beyond that, I don't like everybody buying everybody and there's too much consolidation. It means less uh, competition out there. Thank goodness I didn't do too much damage. I think he's probably water-based as well. Bill Spencer seems really cool. I agree, Max. Seems like he really cares about the industry, not just money, which they all care about that too. But it's okay. You can also care about, you know, the actual product as well. Not just what it gets you. Yeah, you know, what I think they're going to do with that, Max, is their idea is they're going to release... Um, you know, those games still on PlayStation, but they're not going to be exactly the same. They might be missing some exclusive items, maybe some exclusive costumes and, uh, you know, exclusive levels or something like that. You know, like, you know how, like, oftentimes if you pre-order a game, you get some extra stuff? Or if you buy the game on PlayStation on launch week, you, there's some new things you don't get on the Xbox for, like, a year? I have a feeling that's going to happen with, like, every game. So yeah, you can buy it on PlayStation, but it's not going to be as cool. But if you just had an Xbox and Game Pass, you'd get the game for free 
and have all those goodies, and that's going to bring a lot of people over, I believe. I think that's what they're going to do. <laughs> I know, that's what's so sad, Katamari, is the place was so, you know, just like, corrupted. It basically needed that to happen to clean it, it's, and it shouldn't have needed that, but it did. And not many other people could buy them. Amazon could buy them. Um, let's see, Apple could buy them, Google could buy them, but Sony and Nintendo, they couldn't buy Activision Blizzard. Like, maybe just barely, but that's, like, all their money. <laughs> yes, seriously, Max. And unfortunately, it's not just Phil Spencer. Of course, he has to speak to all the shareholders and make everybody happy, but he's making a lot of good decisions, and they put a lot of money into things that I didn't think they would, such as backwards compatibility and things that just don't make a lot of money. They're just great for the users in the end. Oh, and King Beer, how long have you played this game? I think we've, been, we've played the game for about 17 hours, 16 or 17 hours total. Not super long, but uh, we've gotten some progress. Or do you mean how long am I going to play it? In that case, maybe like another half hour or so. All right, let's catch a new one. I've not caught one of these guys yet. This is, is this a super useless one? I think it's just funny to have, just to have it. Go that way. And not get it to go that direction. Now he moves to the center. There we go. Oh, that's what it, the fashion show was. That's right, Phantasma. <laughs> the useless Pokemon. I'd say I'm honestly primarily a PC gamer now, but uh, I do have an Xbox, I do have a PlayStation, and I do have, I did get a new PlayStation game I'm excited to try. Um, besides not finishing Demon Souls, I also want to play uh, the new Ratchet and Clank, Clank game that I just got for Christmas, so that looks really cool too. No coffee tonight, Captain. No, I thought about it, but I don't want to stay up as crazy late as I had sometimes in the past because I just haven't been sleeping that great with my back problems. So uh, I think we're just gonna push it till about midnight. So another 35 minutes or so, and I'll try to get some better sleep. I know if I had coffee just like an hour and a half ago, it might affect my sleep a little bit. Yeah, that Don Matrix screw up. Oh, that was something else, huh, Max? Especially after they did so well with the um, Xbox 360, like that just turned it around. Oh, how did you like it, Phantasma? I liked the first Thor okay. It wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't bad. <laughs> okay, that one's pretty good. I like how he just sticks his tongue out at you. You have lists of questions and no answers, oh no. Are you guys excited for what Marvel's doing right now? Like, does the new uh, Phase 4 or whatever we're on right now get you excited? Like, I don't really know what's going on, to be honest. I haven't seen the new Spider-Man. I do want to see that. Uh-oh, we're going to have to heal here. And I've watched a little bit of the shows, but I'm not like super hardcore into all the Marvel shows right now. I'm actually more excited about the new Batman movie than anything else. Um, I'm gonna keep battling, but I do have to heal up. Oh, really, Phantasma? You know, there's probably like a correct order to watch them in. I have no idea what that order is, to be honest. I think you're probably supposed to start with Iron Man. And there's definitely a few movies that if you don't watch them in a certain order, 
it won't make a ton of sense. <laughs> Just picking at random. I remember I saw Avengers Endgame without watching Guardians of the Was that Guardians of the Galaxy? No, without watching Thor Ragnarok. And I was very confused as to what the hell was going on when I first started that movie. Of course, they don't make the movie unwatchable. It just helps. Oh, Captain Marvel. I think that's pretty far into the series, actually. Same, same Katamari. I liked Endgame quite a bit. I thought those big tentpole movies are fun, but... I kind of feel like the rest of the Marvel movies are just kind of like teasers to like the big event. But if you don't watch them, you do miss a few details that would be useful. <laughs> Why is Jude Law here? There are, there are a lot of big actors in those movies. Oh, is he Dumbledore in one of those other spin-off series? I didn't know that. Um. Speaking of Dumbledore, are you guys excited for that Harry Potter video game that Warner Brothers is working on? It looks kind of cool. It looks big budget. I'm not like a huge Harry Potter person, so I guess I'm not the best uh, judge of what they're doing with that game, but I'm sure it'll be fine. It's kind of neat that they're doing a more mature Harry Potter game, not just like a cash-in, movie-grab cheap game. I'm trying to find some place to land. Oh, you can just land anywhere. Okay, there we go. Wait, can I just jump off anywhere too? Hold on. I want to see if I can get to that Pokeball I saw over here. Oh no, the rocks blocked me. Never mind. I don't know too much about it, Katamari, except it looks like it's kind of a more fast-paced action game. <laughs> That's pretty good. You can't read the sign from the back. No crap. Oops. I didn't mean to talk to you. Oh yeah, I wanted to switch Pikachu out. I keep forgetting to do that. Party. Let's grab Andy. Oops. Wrong command. Move here. There we go. Much better. You know, the oh, Seafoam Islands, they do spend a lot of time trying to distance themselves from her. When they talk about the game, they say that she has no input at all, yada, 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 but she's still going to profit from it, of course. It's her license. Hello. It's your friendly potion delivery service. Hey. Oh, no need to pay. We hope you continue your support of your neighborhood po Pokemart. That's pretty awesome. How many did I just get? I don't know. I'll take free potions. Hopefully it's more powerful potions. Ice heal. Oh, well, that's not a heal. It cures ice if you're like frozen, huh? Are you surprised to find a coach trainer at a place like this? But what is more surprising is, is that I come here every single day. There is nothing else to do but battle here. Do you want to battle? You always get something cool when you beat these guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and battle. Wait, maybe I should swap to a fire one? Ah, uh, we'll do it in the middle of the battle. I have a feeling he's going to use ice Pokemon. He also didn't watch the second one, Katamori. <laughs> didn't miss anything either. Ezra Miller. Who's that? The name doesn't sound familiar. Oh, I don't think that's an ice one. I think that one's a lightning one. Right? Yeah, it's electric. Okay, so for electric, I want to switch to rock. Or ground. We want ground. Oh, that's who plays the Flash. Okay. I think I only ever saw Justice League, the Snyder Cut. That was actually pretty good. I liked it. It wasn't my favorite, but I'm glad I watched it. I heard the first version was terrible.
Oh, they. Thank you for the correction. That's fine. Okay, he moves fast, but man, <laughs> he can't do much damage to us. Have you guys ever watched that, um... I think I said the same thing, though, Phantasma. Uh, it's on Amazon. The Boys? It's kind of like a spoof on superheroes, but it's really dark and really violent. Actually, I think it's great. <laughs> I think it's worth watching. I think they've had two seasons, and I've liked it all so far. I'm looking forward to when it starts back up this year. You actually saw the theatrical release and it was a movie? <laughs> Did you see the new one, Katamari, and how would you compare them? Uh, I think this next one is water. I'm going to switch to Andy. Yeah, there is a bit of that Phantasma. Yeah, the, the show definitely pushes a lot of boundaries, so that would not be comfortable at all. Yeah, I think this one is water. I'm so glad I found that ability to like look at their stats, because I can never remember just by looking at them. Dang, they're high level. Oh my gosh, I thought I was strong against that, but that did a ton of damage. Um, I want to try to just take it out. Heal afterwards. Oh, so close. Survive. Survive. Yes, toughed it out so we wouldn't feel sad. That's what I'm talking about. Let's use a, not super potion, but the hyper potion and get a full heal on here. There we go. You know, what was I listening to? Some podcast or something, Phantasma. I was just thinking of like things like triggers like that. And uh, somebody was talking about like anything with spiders, they just can't watch. Whether it's a movie, whether it's playing a game, just spiders, nope, I'm out. And like, oh, that would be so hard. Like, I'm not a big fan of spiders, but like, I'd have a really hard time missing out on all the things that I do enjoy that have spiders. Yeah, honestly, Katamari is probably not worth it regardless. Like, I, I haven't seen the original, so I don't know how much is different. But my guess is like 50% of the movie is exactly the same, you know? And I'm sure the pacing's a bit better. There's some cool scenes that they've... Uh, kept in there, but probably not worth it. So now we want to switch to Last Toys. Love having the bigger versions of all these Pokemon. Especially Phantasma, if somebody's, like, getting off on that. You know, I can see it being used as, like, a storytelling mechanism just to get a point across. They're not trying to make it seem exciting or, like, a good thing. But some people are like, yay. <laughs> You're like, what is wrong with you? Oh, no. I was hoping we'd finish it in one hit, but it's too high level. I think we could take it out now. We have just enough. Oh, man. It got a hit off before us. I guess I don't agree with that, Phantasma, in that if that's what the story calls for, that's what the story calls for. If it's part of the story, it makes you understand a character better or a circumstance better. Um, okay, is this fire? I guess I'll go ground. No, let's just bring out Andy, the most powerful. Let's 
And I forget, was the last duel based on, like, uh, real life stuff? I don't remember. I thought it said something about a true story, but you know how they stretch that. They even say Texas Chainsaw Massacre was based on a true story, but, like, <laughs> it's a very, very thin line of true story there. Dang, these things are so powerful. Oh, thank goodness, it knocked out from the damage over time. Ooh. I wonder how close we are to a uh, town <laughs> or something to get my experience back. Five rare candies, though, there we go. See, that's kind of silly. Like, if you know if you put something triggering in your movie and people don't want to see it for that reason, that's totally fine. I don't see any reason to get mad about that. Don't you feel happy when you have a whole bunch of different candies in your candy jar? No, because now I have a bunch of junk food I don't need. I'm trying to lose weight. Okay, I don't think we're going to get out really soon, so I should probably heal up. Let's grab that. Um, luckily, we bought some more revives. <laughs> A little bit, Phantasma. And a couple potions. Right as rain. Actually, it was full heal for them. That's nice. Well, I can go down that ladder right there, but what is this? I got a bunch of different ways to go. Can I push these things? It's a heavy looking block, but a strong push might be able to move it. How do I do that? I don't think I have one of these things yet. <laughs> they have the most wonderful derpy faces. It's a slowpoke. Oops, that's too quick. Probably not the most powerful Pokemon, <laughs> but it's cute. Oh, it's a, an ability that we need. Thank you, Katamari. Here I am trying to figure out what button to press. Wasting my time. Yeah, I still have to catch every new one that I find because I know somebody along the line is going to be like, hey, you need to catch 75 Pokemon before you can get past here. Nice. What is this thing? Looks like a person. <laughs> what is that? A wild jinx? I don't know what I'm looking at. I think, it, is that a fish type? A really hard time aiming this. You're lucky. There we go. I wanted to move back to the center. Ooh, there we go. That was a good one. That was very lucky. Not skill. Ooh, nearly missed it and moved. I don't think I'm going to catch this one. Oh! Since it was red, we didn't have a very high chance of actually catching it. I'll take it. Oh, I think we're already past that point, Katamari. The last person that asked us, I think we only needed to have 50. Is this a dead end? I feel like it's a dead end. Oh no, you can drop down these. Okay. Where did that put us? Yeah, that's going to be a hell of a maze. This is the kind of place you might want the rope to get out. 
if you just get totally lost. Danger, fast current. I don't think I've caught one of these guys yet. I love his tongue. We must have this one. Oh, they all have different requirements. Okay, I was thinking that one would just keep getting higher and higher and higher. There we go, that was better. There we go. Interesting way of spelling seal. S-E-E-L. That was our first one. Sweet. Oh, looks like Pikachu needs some attention. Andy feels the tension in the air and seems a little afraid. Oh, it's okay, Andy. I wonder if you just have to get one of those chimes, or if you're supposed to do this multiple times. I don't know. <laughs> kind of a cryptic mechanic. A big pearl. Is that something I just sell, maybe? Maybe you don't really need it for anything. What did I just hit? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Level 44? That's worth some experience. I'm pretty sure I already have one of these. Oh, only 190? <laughs> I thought he was high level. I think he's a weak Pokemon. Yeah, we already had one. Let's see here. Skip those. Oh yeah, because that's a that's a smaller version of the one we have that's already been upgraded, huh? Hint, you might be able to change the flow of water by using the blocks, which I can't push yet. So maybe we weren't really meant to come here yet. Try going up here. So we're getting a lot of uh Pokeballs. A lot of loot. That's always good. Okay, there's a set of stairs there. I've been here before? I might have been. We've honestly gone up oops, gone up and down so many times I've kinda of lost track of what level we're on. This is the kind of place where one of those Zelda-style dungeon maps would be really useful. I'm assuming if I find new Pokeballs on the ground, I'm in a new place. Otherwise, I would have already picked them up, right? That's just a dead end, okay. Hmm. How do I get over to the right side? I don't think we can hop over. Can we hop down? No? I don't know if I've been up this way. What the hell is this? Is this the same derpy one, but evolved? Slowbro? Evolved to have like a shell bite in his butt? It's okay. <laughs> That's funny. Whoa, he broke out real fast. Oh, that was terrible. I tried to do that too quickly. Trying to get the timing with excellent. Luckily, he doesn't move around much. Kind of stays front and center. That's as good as it gets. Stay in there. There we go. That 
That might be worse than experience. Whoa, yeah, it is. A thousand four. Nice. Yeah, these Pokemon we're catching are higher level than all of my Pokemon. Because <laughs> he's too slow. Bro. Oh. Hold on, there's a giant version of the same thing. We gotta get that, because that's the first one was worth so much. That was too easy. And it was worth even more. Holy cow, that was great. Alright, I like it. Yes, yes, yes. Like, everybody leveled up. See, this would be a good place to grind for experience if I kept finding those. Although what I really want to do, I don't know how close I am, is like get to the next town and save it, because that'd be a great stopping point. Look at that. Max Potion. Is that, like, healing? Sounds like it just, like, heals you to max life. That sounds pretty cool. We've been here. Aw, oh, thank you so much for hanging out for so long, Phantasma. You have a good night, too, and glad your puppy got those deeply needed meds. I hope he feels better, and, uh, oh, no! Don't think I meant to do that. Am I supposed to do this? Um, and I hope you have a good uh, visit to the vet tomorrow. <laughs> Let us know if that Costco TV got sold. <laughs> we'll talk to you later, Phantasma. Oh, I don't know if I've caught this guy before. No, I've never seen this. Okay. Shelter. Get over here. Oh, he jumped at the wrong time. There we go. <laughs> See you, Phantasma. Hmm? Oh. He's level 41. That's not bad. Oh, is anybody watching the Super Bowl on Sunday? For any of you folks in America. Um, I don't know if they do the Super Bowl outside of America. Maybe they do. This is like watching any other kind of foreign sport, right? I think we got plans for a birthday during the day, so I might see some of it, but I don't really plan on going out of my way to watch it. I usually like the commercials. Um, I've heard there's going to be a preview for the new... Amazon Lord of the Rings show? I'm kind of excited to see what that's all about. I'm more excited about that than the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, I probably just need to get out of here, huh, Katamari? I was kind of thinking, like, because a lot of the structure of a lot of these areas are you get to a new place, you can't do much because you're missing an ability, but then when you... Oh, did this just take me back to the beginning? I feel like it did. Um, but then in the town or whatever, you, you talk to some people, they tell you about the new ability to learn, you get it, and now all of a sudden you can go back a little bit and do all that stuff you were missing. Yeah, I feel like... I totally went back to the beginning when I fell in there, just like that. And you don't think the Super Bowl is really a thing in Europe? After all, we call it American football, true, and soccer for us is football. It's funny you call it American football. I'm surprised you guys don't have like another funny term for it, kind of like we have soccer, which seems silly that we call football one thing and everyone else calls it something else. Like, we should have come up with a different name for our American football, honestly. I like that one. <laughs> and egg. Rugby's a bit different, but there's definitely similarities, right? Oh, 
Here's another one of these guys. I just gotta catch him because he's pretty easy and he's worth a crap ton. There's like no reason not to. I love that name, Handig. Honestly, like I always enjoyed going to like Super Bowl parties. Because I get to hang out with a bunch of friends, we got a bunch of food and drinks and stuff. That was always a good time. The actual game itself, I don't follow football. So I would pick a team based on my favorite colors or something and be like, yeah, that's the one I'm going for. And I pretend like it's a big deal. I don't care. <laughs> but you make it a big deal. Especially easy after you've had three or four beers. Gosh, even 600 experience isn't very much now. Let's talk about the currents again. Yeah, okay, we've seen this. So I guess our mission here, figure out how to push the rocks, which will change the current to flow up instead of down. And then when we fall into the water, it'll take us where we actually want to go, right? Versus right back to the center. Oh, I haven't gotten this yet. <laughs> Superb owls. That should be like one of the commercials. Honestly, Katamari, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, what if I drop in one of these? Nope, back in the water. Oh, at a time it didn't actually take me all the way down. That was interesting. I still need to watch his entire special, Max. I've only seen a few clips on YouTube, but it's really good stuff from what I've seen. Feeling there's no other way out of here. Like, progress until I can push these blocks. Honestly, people should like make a run for it doing that, Katamari. Just like start posting owls and see if like a hashtag can take off, <laughs> take over the Reddit. Oh, wait, I think I'm back at the beginning, aren't I? Even when pushing blocks with a strong push, Pokemon can get in the way. When that happens, I use Repel so I can get back to push it with no problem. Okay, well, how do I push blocks? Oh, it's already been doing that for years, Katamari. Never mind. I thought you were saying like, oh, that'd be funny if they did that. It's actually a thing. Oh, I love it. So Katamari, do I get this ability in here or should I be taking off and looking elsewhere? <laughs> I see you have plenty of Pokeballs. If you ever run low, come talk to me, okay? That's cool. I think it just gives me free Pokeballs. No, I think we're kind of stuck here without getting that ability. I'm surprised none of them actually tell me about it. Like, oh yeah, you should talk to so-and-so in town. And the trainer, he didn't train me in anything. Whoops, I didn't mean to run into him. That's okay. We'll take you out, little guy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here's a question. Favorite owl in video games? <laughs> There's not a ton of them, but they exist. There's a few. Um, King's Quest V had an owl. Uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time had an owl. I didn't realize that. It shows you at the very bottom how many more catches you can do. Okay, I do want to go back. Is this to that town I was at right before I um, started sailing, I guess, Katamari? Can I just use the town map and teleport? I don't know if that's a fast travel or not. Let's see, bag. Town map. I am here. I used to be here. No, I don't think it's like a teleport or anything. Okay, let's get back there. Excuse me. Oh yeah, I just have to drop off anywhere. At least the water goes pretty quick. Especially if you're not trying to fight everything, you can get through there fit quickly. I did get a bunch of experience though. Okay, I already beat these guys, so I don't think I have to worry about that. Let's see, Celadon City. That sure sounds familiar. Let me check the map. I don't know if I just saw a sign for Celadon City or if I actually stopped there. That's Fuchsia. Vermilion. Saffron we haven't been to. Lavender Town. Cerulean. Celadon City. Yeah, we have been there. Although for that ability, I would assume it's in this town, which is like, you know, close to the water. The Safari Zone has a playful park out in front. Out back is the Go Park Complex. And they could like literally be in any of these buildings. The old forgetful man used to live here, but I heard he moved to Route 12. It sure is convenient having a Pokemon Center next door, but it means my rent is really high. That sucks. <laughs> hmm, you've met Bill? He's my grandson. He always liked rare things, even as a child. The Safari Zone's wardens may be old, but he's still in great health. Though his teeth are all false, to be fair. Why you gotta be talking smack about these people? Let them have, you know, rotten teeth. You don't have to spread the news about it. These. <laughs> Some people. Okay, that's the Pokemon Gym. I think there are a few other buildings and people we just, I just never talked to. Lupress sure is wonderful, but where can you catch one? I have not caught one of those yet. So this was the Pokemart. I didn't try talking to the random people. Have you tried using an X-Speed? It temporarily boosts a Pokemon speed in battle. Where are all the souvenirs promoting the Go Parks? No t-shirts, no snow globes, not even a paltry postcard or two. How dare they? <laughs> Talk to the guy in the pink shirt. I don't think I've been in these buildings. You gave the gold teeth to the warden. I've never even talked to this man. The warden popped in his teeth. Oh, wait. Somebody maybe mentioned they were the warden's teeth earlier. I, I guess I just never introduced myself to him. I didn't know this was the warden. Yuck, they're all sandy and gritty. Anyway, thanks, Sonny. You're a real lifesaver. 
No one could understand a word that I said, not a one. I was too ashamed to show my face around the office even. Let me give you something for your trouble. The safari set. Oh, so now we can dress up differently? Let's see what that looks like. And here, I'll teach you something neat. A secret technique called strong push. There we go. What's this, Sonny? You'd rather have your Pokemon learn the secret technique? No, actually, I'd love to learn it, but Pikachu just takes everything. Well, I suppose it makes no difference to me. Now come this way and have a look. You sometimes find big blocks like this one in caves and other such places, right? You can push them around if you take a moment to gather up your strength first. The trick is this. Ugh, you grit your teeth as hard as you can, if you've got them. Then all at once, you just let it rip. That's a good way to throw out your back. Don't do this. I know from experience. And you learned the secret technique, strong push. Hooey, look at that. Learning strong push in just one go. Your Pikachu is a clever one, Sonny. So we can try doing this, huh? <laughs> Super ability thief. Can't stand it. It's a big block. Do you want to use a secret technique strong push? Yes. Bam. Nice. Oh, what is that? Something moving. Is that like a gopher? Diglet. Oh, <laughs> we got a nugget from Diglet. Aw. That was cool. Weird. Kind of creepy. I couldn't tell what that was, but that was cool. All right. Well, that's exactly what we need to solve that place, but this is probably a good stopping point. So what I'm going to do, well, not right the second. Let's get back to that water area and we'll save it there. So when we get started on Saturday, we can just hit the ground running in that new place. <laughs> yeah, luckily it's a gold nugget, Katamari, not a brown nugget. We don't want those nuggets. Not even from a gopher. I think it was right down this way. Oh, you know what? Good call. Now that we're in um, town, I should restock up on everything. I'm good on healing for the most part, but I've used a lot of abilities, so that's a good call. Wait, isn't it right over here? Yeah, here it is. <laughs> Convenient. Oh no, Max! <laughs> the timing, the timing. Yeah, it might as well, honestly. I mean, it takes a little bit of time, like 10 seconds. So if you're in that much of a rush and you have hardly anything hurt, I guess you could skip it, but nah. We used a bunch of abilities. We did, some, we did some fights. Might as well. Yeah, I think we just jump in the ocean and we are good to go. So what is that? Like four secret techniques that Pikachu has learned? I know we have the cutting trees, surfing now, pushing rocks. And wasn't there another one too? Did not mean to run into this guy. But that's okay. We're gonna blast him. Whoa, that's a cool one. It will not survive this. <laughs> we got three levels on it, and it's probably weak against this. Although that might be dragon type, not water type. So, oh no, it still didn't survive. Oh wait, what's uh, Flash Katamari? Oh, it's four times weak to electric? Because flying's weak to electric and water is, right? I don't know about Dragon. Oh, that sounds really cool, Max. Is that like an all-day thing? And your Thursday is now completely over, right? I'm trying to think of where it is. You're probably already on Friday. <laughs> For me, I just transitioned into Friday. It still feels like Thursday to me until I wake up in the morning. 
I don't count that. It's Friday at 10 a.m.? Okay. All right, let's go ahead and save it here. So 18 hours into the game. Normally I would do one more stream in this and then we probably call it because it's like a fairly long game. But I think after one more stream, we'll be fairly close to the end. I know we're past the halfway point right now. So we'll probably just push on and knock out the rest of this game because we're making pretty good progress. Oh, the flash. Now they call it light up. What was, oh, for the um, the dark areas, right, Katamori? I totally forgot about that ability. Good call, good memory. Sweet. All right, we will leave it there. I love that I can just, like, not even exit the game, just go into the Switch menu, and we're good to go. Great.